here we go, boys. To the ironworks. Old Canver, established within a natural sea cavern situated near the outskirts of Old Canver. The ironwork serves as a discreet berth for Mid's greatest creation. Are you ready? Let's go, boys. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that grunting. Like, what, are we, what are we doing? Clive, my dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> I still can't believe they they named her Mid. Can we catch them? Kaza, I want Avowed to be good so bad, but I think we're just going to get a Dark Messiah 2.0, which is fine too. Pretty good analysis, realistic expectations for sure. Hey man, thank you. I appreciate it. Like... When it comes to streaming, I'm so comfortable, man. Like, I have no problems. But, like, making videos makes me so nervous, dude. Like, I'm just, I really, really not. I'm I'm new to making videos. So, I appreciate the, uh, the, the, the nice comments and stuff like that. And uh, shout out to the editor for making me look um, not as terrible as I promised you I looked in the raw footage. Holy shit. But, yeah, man. Uh, I, I'm, I'm really excited for Avowed 2, man. Uh, I think it's going to be, like, a... Uh, you know, like how the Outer Worlds was like a double A Fallout kind of game. I think this is going to be like a double A Skyrim kind of game. Maybe more like a double A Morrowind. But whatever, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm still going to accept it for what it is. But man, I had, I had a whole different set of like hype and expectations and excitement when I first saw the reveal. You know, it is what it is, though. You know that's that's not on that's not on Obsidian. That's more on me. I I, I would say. The Inayar is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built, and it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. Mm. This is the Enterprise. Woo! And the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. Oh, Mid is so wholesome. Clive, what do you know of Barnabas Tharn? Only what the bards sing. And he sailed to Ash from southern lands. That it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. Jesus. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. The light! Oh, oh shit. This cool was meant to be hidden. Ah. Mid! Company! Hey? We'll hold them off until the ship is ready. What? Oh, hurry! No way. Let's No, 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 I just... It, we're not starting like this, are we? Oh, shit, okay. Are we going straight into combat? Everyone with me? Okay. Well, well, I mean, you know, we sort of, we sort of have a party. So, hey, you know, about 40 hours in... We solved one of the biggest problems with the game. Okay. GG's. GG's. Creative Business Unit 3. GG's. Oh, shit. Okay. Hey, St. Dizzle. Good to see you. Here they come. Best Street Boys. Oh, my God. Uh, 
Uh, oh man. Oh man, come on, bro. Bro, I. I this isn't fair. I'll have you know, Earthbreaker here once struck fear into the heart of every man in the twins. Okay, that'll get rid of holy sh nine of them. Is anybody left? I thought you said that ship was fast. Bro, their health bars didn't even show up yet. Okay. Old? I haven't felt this alive in twenty summers. Come on, there we go. Which of you not fancies meeting? Damn, damn, damn. They gave me no time to warm up. Ooh. Oh. Okay, how do I lock on again? Shit. Damn it, I told you I forget I forget the games every time I take a break. Okay, he staggered good, he good. Hate gigglers? Hate gigglers? What? This is the, this is the warm up? No. No, please don't say that. Okay, I'll get that right back with uh, Flames of Rebirth. I'll get that health right back, so that won't even matter. Oh, and he staggered? Okay. There we go. He's done. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. I thought I was going to like get to like kind of ease back into it, but no, like just immediately a hundred miles per hour. GG's Lua. Thank you. Oh, Sama, you gifted uh St. Dizzle. 893 gifted subs. Sama's only seven gifts away from 900 subs on the channel. Jesus Christ. That was easy enough. All right, you lousy lot. Get your horses on board. She's ready to sail. Mm. You okay, finally, I've, I've earned a break. Uh, the captain? <laughs> mm. Clive? No, don't, don't do this. No, I... Wait, didn't know. But I thought he was... Didn't we already whoop this person's ass? Didn't we? Didn't we? We already beat the shit out of... spider Rot, thank you for the 200 bits. He says, hey, Rex in chat. Good to see you, Spider. <sighs> Damn it, I already... Guys, guys, you can't start a hype train when I might be about to have a boss fight. You're going to distract me and make me die. I'll never forgive you for this shit if I die. The immortal twink, I'm saying... There's something about effeminate male characters in Final Fantasy. They're the toughest sons of bitches in the whole fucking franchise, dude. If it's a dude who's like effeminate and has a good sense of style and a good haircut, 
You can bet he's the villain, and you can bet he's gonna whoop everyone's ass. Oh, oh my God! And it is as I feared. Oh, Snape is no man, but a creation of Odin. What? Oh. Oh, come on, bro. It was hard to fight one of him. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh. Phoenix is fiery fundament. Have you no normal enemies? Th thank you, Byron. Like, Byron's a G for that line. Yo, thank you, Sama, for uh, gifting uh, Sisa Khan a uh, sub. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Good haircuts in Final Fantasy are a dead giveaway. You are not lying. Oh, pretty much every good looking male character in Final Fantasy is either the villain or a very confused protagonist. <laughs> no, round. no, please. We are. Right, Lord no, please. Oh boy, there was a time people called me the executioner. No matter, will roll. I love you, same. Byron. Mate, GG Byron. Plan. You leave, we follow. Follow? Swimming, are you? Oh, bugger me. Way anchor. Oh boy, here we go. Engine's dead slow ahead. Oh, please don't let me die this early in the stream, please. All right, uh, oh okay, God. My friends. Is not blood that runs through in Eggy's veins. Okay. These foes will not fall easily. I know, Joshua. Thanks. But they will fall. Like oaks before a woodman's axe. Good thing I brought <laughs> one! Ah! 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 Okay. Okay. How long are we meant to keep this up? As long as it takes. Unless you have a better idea. Did I get to nine? I did not. Well, I've already killed at least five of the bastards. Fuck it. Okay. Let's do the lot. Let's. Okay. I love the banter, bro. I'm not gonna lie. There we go. Okay, they're just getting air juggled. Okay. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, guys. Wait, am I close to dying? Oh shit. Should we make for the ship? Not yet. Wait for my signal. All right, I was not keeping an eye on my health. It'll be all right. I'll be fine, Lua. Are they all dead? Okay, we did it. Oh, come on. Oh my God, bro. In your own time, Clyde. I think we have to, okay. We triggered a cutscene. I think we're all right. All right. Right, for it. Oh, nice, Byron. Oh, my God. no. Oh, come on, Clive. With the power of motion blur, you can make it, bro. Oh, it looks... I don't think he's... Uh... Okay. I'll take it.
Wow. Square is waiting for Rex to finish the game for them to release it on PC. Don't. What upsets me about that is uh, I believe you're absolutely correct. What's up, uh, Granddaddy Otaku? Good to see you, bro. Zidane and Zach versus Cloud and Squall. Team Positive versus Team Depression. Who do you think wins, chat? Zidane and Zach or Cloud and Squall? Who wins that fight? Now, mate! Well, that was a fun way to start the stream today. It's a fun little start, fun first 30 minutes. Oh, there's our girl. What do you want? Yeah, like my biggest question is why he took her alive. I thought he I thought he would kill her. That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. <sighs> you are my offering to Mythos. I would not see you damaged. Okay, so offering to Mythos. So he's going to use her as bait or he's going to use her to negotiate something, right? Back to your stations! Every bell spent treading water puts another league between us and the Galleon. So everybody's voting team positive. That's good. Much as I love Cloud, I don't think Squall could beat either Zack or Zidane. So damn, is Squall that weak? Damn, Squall was my boy growing up, but I haven't touched Final Fantasy VIII since I was like 19. I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine. Mid the Pirate Queen, I'm down. <laughs> since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. <sighs> Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. Ah. You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Randala can provide them. Hmm, okay. Are we gonna get an army? I'm down. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. <laughs> Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. <laughs> oh my god. I love Byron. He's been consistently such a fun character to have around. And you gotta respect him instead of keep up, my boy. instead of ordering someone else to row, he did it himself. You know what I'm saying? Like Byron's just a good guy. Like what a G. Well, 
We can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it. <laughs> Uncle Byron's going to Burger King. Is that is that it, Randy? Twin sod. Is this Dion? Oh boy. He looks rough. Greek of mercy. Oh, is he seeing what he did for the first time? Oh boy. That's true, Spider Rock. All this, it. <laughs> what have I done? Man, the voice acting is so good. I mean, that was an epic boss fight, wasn't it? Did you see the Final Fantasy games tier list trend? I mean, I'm familiar with the tier list trend. I didn't know that there was specifically one for Final Fantasy. All right, guys. The Naldia Nero. He feels so guilty though, yeah. Well, I mean, he should, right? Blessed with mild currents and warm waters, the narrow allows for swift travel to the Dominion or a flom and stone here without having to circle through the dangerous outer seas. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, he lost control. I mean, he was he was kind of manipulated into it for sure. For sure. I, I give him that. For sure. I don't hold it against him. I'm just saying that I think the guilt is reasonable. There's a lot of sea between here and Walud, but any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north northeast and we'll catch the black galleon before she vanishes again What's to prevent her from circling around ash from the south with these winds in those waters it take taken forever in a fortnight to reach stone here Mid knows what she's talking about Clive better than any of us lot anyway. I say we do as she tells uh, Sails on the horizon She's oh. ours I mean, maybe that's a good thing. Are we going to have like a big boss fight out on the open seas? Because I'm not going to lie. That would be pretty sick. Look alive, boys. Full edge. And keep those furnaces fed. Aye, aye. Hey. Do you feel that, Jill? All hands. Battle stations. Hey. Let's see what this girl can do. Facial expressions can be so good in, in maybe not in every single cutscene, but overall facial and facial like expression. They did such a good job with that in this game. which joins them condemning both to the same fate yet my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold
fascinating. Oh. But then, there is naught my blade cannot sever. Oh my god, this is so epic. Oh. He did that so casually. I thought for sure that was going to hit them. One of us. Out of port! Heads down, you brutes! Embrace for impact! Bro, oh, this... This build-up and this tension right now is so sick. Oh wow, we're ramming them. It's now or never. I'll find her. Interesting. Oh shit. Bloody hell. Gotta stop it. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Okay. Yo, that is a start. Hold on, let me check the uh the audio real quick, guys. Yeah, the effects volume is way too low. I thought something was going on with the effects volume. Where did you hide, up, Barnabas? Cut it down! Hold on, what? Ugh. Let me, like, I don't even know what we're pirates now. I know, this game has everything, right, boys? What are we using? Experience 15%, ring of timely assistance. We can change these in the middle of a fight, we can. So Torgal and then experience by 15%. Let's go ahead and change that. Maybe, uh, I think we either go with defense or the berserker ring. What do you think, chat? Would you go with the berserker ring or would you go with the 30 defense? I mean, defense is kind of our low stat. I, you know what? I think we need the defense unable to change. Oh, ah, fuck me. All right. Never mind. We gotta find Jill, bro. Get him out of here. Okay, uh. Oh, come on, bro! Who the fuck are you? Get him! This one! There we go. Oh, 
Let's stick him with nine more and uh, we'll get some good stagger on him as soon as he gets up. There we go. See, half a bar already. Let's go on and stagger him the rest of the way with this. There he is. No way. Nice try. There it is. This might finish him. No. Woo. Okay, hold up. Maybe now I can switch it. Fuck! Uh, where was it, chat? Yay! Ah! Uh. Okay, thank you. thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to change that. Thank you so much. Holy shit. Woo! All right, I'm happy. Okay, let's go in here. Hey, Shambolic. Potion, okay. Did, is is this where she's at? I think I already found her chat. Oh shit. him alive i'm coming for both of you oh boy josh i mean i think josh can hold his own right chat hey what up sons Soul. Damn it. There we go. Took a little bit of damage, but it's okay. Yeah, truth, I'm doing my best. 8K subs. Yeah, I think I think we hit it like early this morning, actually. Kind of a one one small step. Ah! Okay. I took. I saw. I lost my concentration for a second. They made me pay for it. Big boys down, we're good. Damn, Torgle. 
get punished, bro. She must be here somewhere. Okay. All right. Man, best boy Torgal really held it down, didn't he? You don't remember that? that Paul, I'm the same way, bro. I'll forget some of the craziest stuff in a game. Hold on. Hold on. There's loot back here hiding from me. Maybe the next scene will jog your memory. Uh oh. Hey, Anna Bobana. I missed the notification. That 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 upsets me, but it's okay. I've been really getting robbed on notifications lately on both Twitch and YouTube. I keep wondering if I'm blacklisted for some reason. Like, what did I do wrong? Torgal, where do we go? Ah, okay. Do, 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 do. Ooh, it's so hey, here we go. The breath of earth, earth and fury. Hold up. Is earth and fury? Oh, they, they finally gave me this. Oh yeah. Should I switch to boss? Yeah, we should probably switch over to our boss, our boss stuff. And I think for our boss stuff, we, we're probably going to want to switch some stuff around. Hold on. Aerial Blast, Earth and Fury, Flames of Rebirth. There we go. We can have Flames of Rebirth more often, which is good. And what about the will of the Wikes one? Makes it last an extra five seconds. Let's do that too. Hold on, sorry. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out if that's... Uh, reduce an aerial blast cooldown would be nice. What was the um, Earth and Fury? 9.5 seconds. Uh, I'll stick with what I got. I'll stick with what I got. Impulse, Giga Flare, Will, Aerial Blast. Okay. All right. Notifications are tweaking. Yeah. I'm not family friendly enough, I guess. I don't know, boys. You can see damage on the ship. That's pretty cool. Doing great. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Jill. Hey. Get back. All right, we got her. Oh, thank God. Clive, how did you? I'll explain later. Hands. Can you walk? Out of here, I can. Here we go. Stand still. Phoenix. Are you not the dominant of fire? I see naught before me but a guttering flame. Damn. Is Odin like above the other icons in terms of power or are they all roughly even? This doesn't feel, this doesn't feel even. Thank you so much, Sama. Oh 
Oh boy. Uh, oh man. He, he's cheating now. In honest and... Oh boy. Oh, he's still got the thing on his chest from, um, from, uh, oh, what's that thing called? He's still got the, that, that purple like wound in his chest. No way. No way he's that fucking strong. Ultima, thank you. Wow, holy shit. Yo, that's crazy! My man literally parted the sea. God, these set pieces are amazing. Oh, oh shit. Uh, ooh. Yo, no way! Is it just gonna stay parted? That's, that's interesting. Okay. Man, I wish they could both just, like, transform and go help phoenix because holy shit dude like i don't feel comfortable with joshua fighting odin on his own go on. yeah i can tell anna bovanna i can absolutely tell i think so <sighs> wow man these visuals but to, to where? Oh. Oh, okay. You. What did you do to Joshua? The Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation. And thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? The blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is, but suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Ever led astray by your blind resolve. These conversations are so interesting. Now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. 
Get as far away as you can. Clive, no! Trust me, Jill. I mean, the only thing about this is I saw the last time Clive tried to fight this guy, it was like a child, like a three-year-old toddler throwing a temper tantrum against his dad. So I'm just like, how different, how different can it really be this time? Can it be different? I'm nervous. If we fight, I'm nervous. Oh God, okay, we're fighting. We don't have to do this. Oh, but we do. If only to remind you of your duty. Okay. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can go on and get him down. Rise, you first. Okay. Good, good, good. In a short time since our last meeting, you have grown much. Okay. As a vessel, I fear my lord will still find you lacking. This fire and fury, and for what? Oh! A of light. A foolish notion fed to you by a foolish man. How dare you? You know naught of this world, nor of our place in it. If our fates were so easily rewritten, we would all be gods. I have seen enough. Press the attack. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing this right now. Oh, fuck, dude. I, I don't know if I'm going to press the attack enough. I'm pressing the attack, fam, but I, I don't know. Did he move? Oh my god, we parried him. Defend yourself. Oh my god, did we parry him again? Bro, I'm pressing. I'm pressing. If you will assume the mantle you've been given. Oh, I, 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 I. And thus is the light of hope severed. Oh! No way that didn't kill him. Holy shit. You would yield so soon. Never. Bro, it looked like he just cut him in half. Life. See, women always do this. Jill, didn't we just tell you to run? Oh, here we fucking go. Do you not see? Your iron will weighs you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominance? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. Does that even remotely answer the question that we asked seriously this man is speaking in riddles what the fuck does any of that mean 
Also, thank you, Hefe. You a king. We are more than that. You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his, and yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us. It unmakes us. That its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. You know, if Joe Biden could talk like this, I think he'd win the election. What can you do? Apart from you, Mythos, you wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying? I'm so glad that fucking Clive asked the question that we're all thinking. Is that we dominance are a means to an end. Okay, this time he's really gonna tell us, we chat. We were created for you. That you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. All right. Which is? It's only been like eight minutes, man. To feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard? As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. Chat, you guys understand what he's saying, right? The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord in his mercy has taken pity on his flawed creations and shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Thank you, Jill. Why loyal servants to God? No. Manners, Lord Rossfield? They are men, like you and me. What the fuck? Are we time skipping or... Wait. Albeit one's uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. I guess. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? And abandon everything we hold dear? We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. Barnabas sitting here scheming out in the open. This is ridiculous. Clive! Oh, no way. Is the... The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. Oh, shit. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. Oh. Oh. Bro, you got like three seconds. Don't look back.
Clive bested? Did no 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 decoration medal of valor no 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 I'm no 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 I'm misunderstanding they did not get wrecked they did not just give us the fanfare for us losing a fight is that what they just did bro that's crazy that's crazy and hilarious and creative i congrats ass kicked yeah jeffy holy shit and kevin Thank you so much. 19 months of membership over on YouTube. Thank you for the recommitment, man. I appreciate you. Also, uh, thank you, El Jefe, again, man. Uh, also, for uh, for being here. Uh, what was that? Resubscribed. Five months, man. Appreciate that. And Sama gifted three months of Tier 1 to Anabo Banna. I didn't even notice that that was three months. Thank you so much, Sama. Appreciate you. Clive got cooked, and we're celebrating Next scene, Clive killed. Ta da, ta da, ta ta ta. <laughs> Clive bested will never not be funny, no matter how many times I see it, bro. I'm like, that's ridiculous. Impulse uh, damage by ten percent. That's cool, but I mean, when will I ever use that? Oh man, that's so funny. That's so funny and ridiculous. That's so ridiculous. Rex. You just feel like you didn't deserve it because you didn't understand the Lord's word. Yeah, Anna, that's what it is. What's up, Behemoth? So, so what they want to do is they want to they want to have. Okay, so th this is my, this is what I think is happening, is that Mythos is supposed to collect all of the dominance or collect like get the blessing of every dominant or whatever, and then Ultima, like, will possess Mythos or Mythos will become the dominant for Ultima, and then Ultima will, will rule over a world of Akashic, mindless people that will be his servants. That is what I think is going on. You can let me know how close, how close I got that. I hope the others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Joe. Where is Jo- What the- Hold up, hold up. Where are your clothes? And they would have seen the ice. Red lead. Shut up, everybody, everybody shut up. Everybody be quiet. Shh. We need only wait till dawn. Why are they naked? Torgo was like, I'm gonna mind my business. Torgo, why did they? I cannot. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. I'm powerless against him. And maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Jill. Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. So you believe. But do you really know me? If what Barnabas said was true, then... I'm more monster than man. And each time I summon the flames from within... I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you though? Think of what you've used that power for, of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted, only how you choose to use it. I just, I, I'm sorry. I just, I, I just keep thinking, what was the setup to this? Did they just like, did they just build a fire and say, you know what, we should just get naked and like sit back to back for like a really dramatic conversation. How did we get here? I'm not upset that we're here, but how? And you've chosen to use it for good 
Haven't you? I've also used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? Sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm choosing to believe that she just grabs her own hand. I'm no. I'm I'm choosing to believe that she's just grasping her hands like this, and that she didn't grab something else other than her hand. I'm choosing to believe, but then I just, I just how funny would it be with his reaction and the look on his face? I, I'm sorry, I just can't help but put it out there. You're still that same boy I grew up with. Always so eager to save everyone around you. And yet always so alone. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself. I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving. Provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. And I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> serious, serious, serious. I can be serious. Jill. Are you sure? If... If this is what you want, then... It's just, I, it's just, the, 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 the phrasing is just for this scene, bro. Whoa. Don't worry, Clive. It is. Thank you, Yoshi P. Um, is he giving her some of her power back or is he taking more from her? I don't. This burden, I'll give you the strength to bear it alone. But I'm not alone. These burdens I carry, my sins, my pain, my sorrow, I see now that they are all a part of me. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see what you did there. It was just gonna keep going till she fucking died, man. So she gifted him all of Shiva. To continue on, having pleasure. 
pledge my life to those I love. And I will gladly bear your burdens too. Until my last breath. Clive. I promise you, Jill. We will find a way to escape this fate. Find a way to save each other. I just want you to know that while I'm watching this, <laughs> I'm imagining in my head Joshua laying somewhere like on some rocks out in the middle of the ocean or like on a beach, like battered and beaten and barely alive, like holding on for dear life, bleeding out. <sighs> I know Clive will be here soon. Clive will be here to save me soon. Meanwhile, this motherfucker... Like, nobody knows if Josh was okay or not, but these two motherfuckers. Anyway, that's just what I'm imagining. Well, that was, that was sweet. That was we sweet. We might one day look upon the moon again. Together. If y'all don't fucking kiss, like, just do it. Just fucking kiss already. Just fucking kiss already. Stop. Like, you've edged me to, like, the edge of the fucking universe. Kiss. 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 And I promise you, Clive. Oh, Jesus Christ. That I will be there. No matter what you must become. Okay, there's the tears, the dramatic language. Kiss. You're, you're four inches away. Kiss. Fucking kiss. Kiss! I never thought a smile could bring me so much joy. Or just keep talking. Just, just fucking keep talking if you want. <sighs> Woo! Oh my god! 46 hours later, gentlemen. There it is. GG's. GG's, Clough. GG's, brother. God damn, I thought they were never going to kiss. Meanwhile, Josh, probably on a beach somewhere, bleeding out. Joshua would be like, do your duty, big bro. Get the booty. Get that booty. That, Jesus. So that's very supportive of Joshua. Like Joshua was out on a beach bleeding out somewhere from his fight with Odin. And then the moment they kissed, like Joshua saw a shooting star and like smiled like Clive. They should have just shown that. Fuck it. Huh, we got it though. We got the kiss. We got the kiss. I still don't understand the nudity. They wore their armor and their uniforms through blood and shit and murder and mud and the ocean. And they never took it off. But then they randomly decided that they needed to get naked for that specific conversation. All right. Hey, I'm not mad for the story. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. And thank you so much, Kate89, for resubbing with that prom. Appreciate you, King. To keep warm? Yeah, Jinx, that makes sense. You're right. My man just now is thinking about Joshua. You can see it in his face. He's like, oh, shit, I forgot about Joshua. Oh shit, Mid doesn't even have powers. Is Mid okay? Holy Jill! You could see it in his fucking face just then. You could see it. He was like, oh shit, like. Bro. I cannot with this game. They went raw? No, no shot. 
There's no, they were sitting on sand. There's no way they had sex. There's no way. There would have been sand all up in places that you don't want sand to be, chat. There's no way they had sex. No. No, there's no way. They didn't have a towel or nothing, chat. Mm -mm. No. No, they didn't, booty. They did not. Stop it. Not, not in front of Torgal. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No, no, chat. No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Check on Mid and Joshua is what he's about to say. Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. Somebody tell me that they at least mentioned Mid and Joshua. Somebody tell me that they at least mentioned them. No. sex was that good see the name of the trophy that you earned how i don't i don't know how to see torgal licked the sand out what the fuck chat chat the things i'm reading sex uh, anna anna come on now even the women even the girls jill bested oh that oh my god jill bested that would have been hilarious how do i see the uh it's called promise become one become was was this the first sex ever in final fantasy uh no we, we definitely had sex in seven so nah tifa and cloud were definitely a long time before this Spider Rock, thank you. You started it, Ray. I, no, I, I, I didn't start shit. Randeep's donation? What was it? What was Randeep's donation? Randeep, this scene is Rex and the YouTube sub who donates $500. It, nice try, Randeep. Nice, nice try. Nice try. All right, guys, I'm going to use the restroom. I got to pee real quick and then I'll be right back, okay? All right. Torgal definitely did not lick the sand out. That's disgusting. I'm going to find you and ban you. 
uh just you guys are I'm, i gotta ban like 18 of you based on these chats are filthy let's start a fight no all right um yeah i'm gonna go pee real quick uh pee and now I'm, I'm being serious paul god damn it um they didn't have sex but they kissed good enough um joshua and mid are probably dead now uh that's fine i guess nobody seems too worried about it we're going back to the hideaway as soon as i get back chat just you guys behave for five seconds man jesus christ Let's see, uh... Let's see, uh... <laughs> that was a wild, wild ride. All right, let's, uh, let's find out if Mid and Joshua are alive. Joshua looking down, smiling, yeah, from heaven. But at least, at least we finally got our kiss. Joshua understands. Jesus Christ. Mid says Odin split the sea in two. Yeah. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. I don't I know anything about tall. Myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sell for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up the hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. Okay. Across the narrow. Here we go. The power of ice. Okay, so Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Shiva's essence. Oh, that's right. We didn't have any of Shiva's essence before, did we? Holy shit. I don't know why. I, I just, I, I, I don't know why, but I thought we already did. <laughs> Attuning with Shiva not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Ice Age. That's a great movie. Which forcefully knocks back enemies great distances. Uh, okay. Now, Shiva's feet. Cold snap can be used to swiftly move left, right, forward, or back to either dodge attacks or close in on an enemy. Okay, so that's very similar to Clive's uh, 
I should visit Feet. Joshua. Okay. Assuming Tony will allow it. Okay. A new quest is available. Oh, side quest, baby! Shiva's grippers? You are fucking ridiculous, bro. Absolutely ridiculous. Doing? Let's take a look Anything at our alliance reports. Oh, oh yeah. Oh Always yeah, chat. There. Yeah, it is. What's going on on the bounty board? Do we have any hunts? Yuna, have, Yuna take care. No, we're good on our hunts. That's good to see. Shiva's abilities are great for staggering. Good. All right, let's go. Uh, we didn't even have to use size matters. I want I want to make a joke, but it would just be for one person. Good night, Yuna. All right, let's see if there's anything that we can buy here. People leaving the stream after that scene is kind of sus. Yeah. Yeah, the tension's getting to him, huh? About it. They're like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta take care of some things, guys. I might come back, I might not. <sighs> All right, let's see if we have anything to sell. Yeah, we do, okay. I reckon I can find a buyer. You got out else? There we go. Let's see if we can uh, craft something. What's that for, India? Ice brand. Oh, we get a weapon for. Yet Deet was frostbite, leaving her fell mark upon their skins. Mm. All right, we can make the ice brand. Let's go. Should last you a good while. Sexy. I still want to make this, but I need stone tongue. Stone tongue. Where do I get that? And I need a stained loincloth. I had one of those earlier. I think we must have used it on something else. All right. Can we reinforce anything? No. Nah. And okay, well, there's nothing to make right now. Let's check our mail. Whoop, Sama, what happened? Hey, Chris, how are you doing? Hey, Rex, are you gonna come out with your own pump and dump crypto like Boogie? Nah, Chris, I think uh, I think Boogie's got that market locked down. Him and like uh, Ice Poseidon and a couple other people. I, th I think there's a bunch of other streamers that are already doing enough of that. I I'll try to figure out something else, you know. I want to try to be original. I'll, I'll come up with my own scam. Don't worry. I'll find a way. Captain Dories. Sir, I and the other curse breakers have grown concerned regarding the well-being of our captain. Despite the apparent unrest her recent investigations have visited upon her, Lady Doris refuses all offers of assistance. If it's not too much trouble, I would ask that you please speak with the captain and learn what troubles her so deeply, Cole. All right, we can talk to her. Super easy. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me, but I can speak to her at least. All right, there we go. We have a side quest. Self-determination. Sick. Speak with Doris in the mess. Oh, she's right over here. Oh, okay. Super easy. The stew's awfully thin these days. It's all right. It's all right, Paul. Go on and get your rest, brother. And thank you so much. The VOD will still be up. Covered in nicks and I'll put timestamps on it. It's a wonder they can Man, this first hour and a half was crazy. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate that a lot, man. I really do. Where are you? Can I help you, Sid? 
I'm looking for Doris. Is she here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's rest on a job. My job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. Hmm. Did she? What was the mission? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment. Yo, did you guys hear that? The thunder and the rain outside is crazy. It's like it's like a it's like it's like a hurricane out there. Hold on. I gotta take a look at this. Wow. Holy shit. Sorry, I'm like a kid. Storms are my favorite type of weather. Anytime there's like a big thunderstorm or something, I gotta watch. Anyway. And about their captor. The slave of Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Why would Doris insist on going alone? That was Odin? Yeah. I Cole was right to be worried. Yeah, you're right. It was probably Odin. Odin out there. He's coming for me now. Jesus Christ. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and do this, this uh, mission. I got to say, though, uh, it, it was super fun. Super fun memeing on it. But the that scene with uh with uh uh Shiva and Ifrit, I can't think of their names right now. Th their human names. But that scene with Shiva and Ifrit, that was beautiful. That was a gorgeous scene. You know, and now I think it's canon that Shiva and Ifrit have done it. That's kind of wild. Um that was a that was a gorgeous scene, but br br I could not help myself though, chat. The I, there was just it's just too I feel like they made that shit intentionally funny. I feel like they knew what they were doing. Oh yeah, Anna. I agree. Dora should be somewhere nearby. Assuming she's still here. That was one of the funniest and that was one of the most beautiful and also most it's unintentionally it's funny right. scenes in the entire it's game. Really God, it was hilarious. All right, we got to search for uh, Doris, guys. I've got greens of all shapes and sizes. Colors, too. Merchant, okay. what do you have? Reduce the satellite cooldown by four seconds. Oh, okay. Breath of ice, rhyme. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. He, he did have he did have some stuff. Very okay. well. No, sh no, Sean. I'm pure. Thank you. Well, hold on. Maybe back here somewhere. It doesn't still hurt, does it? Oh, a thousand Akashic jaws couldn't hurt me. I'm a son of Rosaria, after all. A born survivor. Mm. Okay. He's trying to impress her, I see. Oh. It's been a pleasure, Doris. Just like old times. I'll give your offer some thought, my lady. Hmm. What does that mean? How goes the investigation? Sid, what brings you to Martha's rest? You. I heard you were out here on your own tracking our slaver. I trust you're being careful. Of course. And it had to be me. The bearers from the Dragon's Airy confirmed a long-held suspicion of mine that the slaver we've been tracking is an old acquaintance. Mm, we're going She's after no slavers? Fool. Let's do it. If we'd come in force, she would have spotted us straight away and then vanished without a trace. That was her just now, wasn't it? So, was it a fruitful reunion? I'd say so. She tried to recruit me. Seems her time in Rosaria is coming to an end. 
She's abducted bearers from across the region and is looking to smuggle them back into Sambrek. Mm. After her brush with those beastmen on the road to Northreach, she hired herself an Imperial escort, which she wants me to join. She's dangerous, Sid, but I think I can stop her. Then I'm going with you. I'll take care of the escort. You can see the bearers to safety. Where are they? Okay. The Balm Arches, soon to break camp. You go on ahead. I'll follow once I've sent word back to the hideaway. But Rex, you were gonna ban us for being honest? Spider, the things that I was reading in chat had nothing to do with honesty. Self-determination. Okay, we gotta travel here. <laughs> At least, I mean, I'll be honest, this side quest seems interesting. <whistles> Hold on, I forgot that we have... We have new abilities. Hey, there it is. Cold snap. What happens if you master this? Increases permafrost duration. Ice age. Oh, okay. Hold to increase potency. Okay, I'll never use that. Launch multiple shards that, upon striking small, draw them toward Clive. Oh, that's interesting. And then what's this? Diamond dust. Freezes them in place and then knocks them back. Good stagger. What about this rhyme? Summon a colossal ice crystal that deals continuous damage to all enemies that become trapped inside of it. That's actually pretty cool. Okay. These look these abilities look okay. Good girl. I was your fourth. The, the day was okay. The night sucked. I spent the whole night throwing up. Okay, we gotta go this way. <laughs> Salma, thank you for gifting to uh, Mr. Uh, Solorzano. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Queen. All right, let's go back to our, uh, let's go back to our good boy. Our good boy loadout. Increases XP. Increases ability points earned in normal encounters. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want. There we go. Sama, you fucking see. <laughs> w Sama, indeed. All right. Good. They haven't broken camp yet. How did Doris come to know a slaver, I wonder? We've waited long enough. She's not coming. <laughs> all right, Randy. Ready the bearers. We're leaving. Back to civilization, is it, Mark? With all haste. Lest any of you lackwits start talking like these feckless bumpkins. Jesus. I presume your men are ready. We've suffered too many delays as it is. Any more, and I'll be docking your pay. Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, but before you go, it appears we have company. Kill him. Oh, so casual. Okay. Well, she's not. Try. She's not quite Benedicta, but you know.
their moans are kind of hilarious. There's more? Okay. There we go. So much for your escort. <laughs> You'll forgive me for not avenging my men. I'm not the swordswoman I used to be. I surrender. Do with me as you wish. Sid the outlaw. Sid. Ah, there she is. Okay. Ah, Doris. I take it you're not here to rescue me from our brooding renegade. You know, I always wondered where you'd vanished to. But casting your lot with this criminal of all people. <laughs> Better fighting for a cause than killing for coin. I'm sorry, Sid. I should have told you sooner. This woman, my former master, once trained bearer children to be weapons in service of the highest bidder. She raised me like a daughter, and I did terrible things to earn her favor. It wasn't all terrible. Oh my Surely. god. We had our fun, too. You were always so eager to learn, and had such clever hands. Sure, surely she's talking about combat. All my other children took either to the blade or to the books. Always either or. But you proved yourself a master of both. That's why I kept you for my own. How about it, my little dagger? Care to swear that blade to me again? I never swore my blade to you. Nor will I ever. I fight for a higher cause. To liberate the bearers of this world. Farewell, master. Thank you for making me the weapon I am. You always were a righteous child. Perhaps that's the reason I loved you so. She just leaves? What do you want to do with her? I am not the killer she wanted me to be. Not anymore, and she no longer has friends in high places. The dame does, though. Her connections at the Imperial Court will see that justice is done. Ah, right. okay. I am. And thank you. Okay, that was actually cool. That was, that was, that was cool. Cool little side mission. And I should head back to the hideaway and put Cole's mind at ease. Man, this game is going to look so good on PC. Oh, at least they didn't make me waste my time with the fast travel. Appreciate that. Welcome back, Sid. Doris's message just arrived. I hear you saved more bearers from being smuggled across the border. With any luck, they'll be joining us in the hideaway shortly. Oh, and your letter. You don't need to worry about Doris anymore. I'd been hoping as much. She mentioned one or two things in her report. So the slaver we'd been chasing all these months was her former master. She's been arrested, by the way, over in Sambrek. And she won't be getting off lightly. Can't have been easy for Doris. I'm sure it wasn't. But don't worry. She'll be all right. I hope so. You had quite the past yourself before you came here, or so I understand. Anyway, thanks again, Sid. Keep up the good work, Cole. Good mission. She deserved to be smited, to be honest. Yeah, and I 100% I agree. 
I mean, I'll take what I can get, but, you know, at least we know that, you know, she'll probably be either in jail for the rest of her life or put to death when it, uh, when it goes to, like, the, the, the court or whatever. Um, let's see. Let's take, this is our ice brand weapon right here. Sick. Yeah, that's a cool looking sword. Uh, let me look at abilities. See if there's anything that I want to level up. Uh, impulse is leveled up already. We don't need to master that. We don't need to master that. That's already mastered. We're not using any of those abilities. Uh, judgment bolt needs an upgrade. That's already upgraded. Fine. Ooh, we could upgrade, we could upgrade Aerial Blast. Um, hold on. Okay. Rising Flames is already upgraded. We're not using Gouge or Wicked Wheel. Yeah, it would either be Aerial Blast or uh, Judgment Bolt. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade aerial blast excellent oh shit yo tipster thank you for the 100 bits yoshi p said that if the pc version of the game does well he'll make jill a playable character ah well you know i mean i don't know i've heard yoshi p has made some some promises about this game that never came true before regarding jill so i don't know now i don't know if it's true i don't know if it's true but i heard that yoshi p um baited the community with promises of like a big focus on Jill in the uh in the DLCs and then she wasn't so okay no this is ice brand ooh um so i don't know man i heard that he's used Jill as bait on the final fantasy 16 community before i don't know if it's true but I read a lot about that. All right. Next mission. Even weirder science. Oh, Let's do it. Awfully thin these days. Oh, what do you expect? Farmers are abandoning their fields and traders they lose. Even weirder science. Okay. Tried Molly's lemon tarts. I've never had anything so delicious. I want to try Molly's lemon tarts. And the lost. It can't be true. I'm sorry, but the report was clear. The scouts found Miss, can we read Miss Editor's story for our lesson? I think today? we go down here, yeah. Let's do just that. With Canva in the hands of Akashic. Ah, Sid. <laughs> just the man I was hoping to see. Did you have a mo? Don't tell me. You need more bomb ash. Oh, no. We still got plenty of that left. I'm working on bringing another one of Lachie's designs to life. Maybe this will be a hunt that we need. It's a new smelter. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification and a system of reciprocal recirculatory regenerators that, that, um... You know, you know. You say it gets very blimmin' hot. I was gonna say, you know, Clive doesn't understand what you're talking about, bro. Everyone's got this forge. That's for only mithril engines get hotter, and you can't chuck ore in one of them. Trouble is, we won't be able to make out of any old rubbish neither. And I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. Any chance you could help me too? What do you need me to get, bro? I'm so confused. With the smell, okay. If it's for the good of the hideaway, I'd be happy to. Oh, it is. I promise you. So, what exactly is this good stuff you need me to find? Sounds like drugs. You've like got what? a couple of examples here. Spherical Spectral echoes. Fallen materials. So this smelter is similar to the mithril engine in more ways than one. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? And what's more, they're directional. Transferring heat. From yeah, the fetch, fetch, to fetch. The That's right. We've collected his men. All right, I get it. All right, even weirder science. Let's do it. 
That guy was just talking for the sake of talking. Let's just go How ahead and uh, fetch what he needs. The Enterprise, I mean. so, uh, search Lost Plume, Advent, and... Si oh my gosh, where? Hold on. Okay, here we go. Here's one. Um, I think it might be quicker to come at, come at it from this angle, maybe. Probably not, actually, because I, I probably won't be able to jump on my... Probably won't be able to jump immediately onto my Chocobo, but it's okay. He's trying to make... It's clear that there's some Breaking Bad type shit going on there, right, chat? You see it, I see it. Here we go. Here we go. Burb, let's go. All right. Yeah, you're right, Spider Rock. That is kind of how it goes. Uh oh, I ooh, we missed our turn. Shit. Two gill or a oh, potion. Okay. Chad, it feels like it's been a long time since I had to use a potion. Cheddar Bob. Cheddar Rob, Cheddar Bob. No holding back. No holding back as he runs away. Nope, still not it. All right, here we are. You deserve a rest. My baby girl. All right, uh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I have to fight these guys. Maybe they drop what I need. Yeah. I'll need to deal with these ones first. There we go. Bro, the way I dodged that. This should. Yeah, there we go. How to find this spherical echo. Okay. He was kind of tanky, but I don't even think we took a hit. Maybe we did. I'm not sure. Sir, sir, would you please pick it up? Man can fight a this god. Is it. Right then. Just two more to find. Okay, good job. Good job. Good job, Cloth. Alright, let's see. Uh is there oh wait, we're already we already looked here. 
I'm an idiot. Um, maybe down here. Uh, even weirder science. Yes, we need to go here. Okay. Someone from Wisconsin. Oh, you love cheese? Everybody does, man. Why is it that everything that is so delicious is so unhealthy? Ready, go. Good burp. Run like the wind. Okay. Should have a little bit of a fight going on here. Wonder if it would be better. Because I know they're going to be a little tanky. Nah, fuck it. Fuck it. Nah, we'll do it like this. Torgle. That combo. That's boy. Cheese isn't unhealthy if you eat it in moderation. I mean, that's the problem, though. Who wants to eat cheese in moderation? That sounds awful. It's not how I want to live my life. Two down. One to go. All right, boys. We did that. Uh, hold on. Okay, I'm guessing our third is up here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Okay. It's not even that far out in Clairview. Should be easy. Ambrosia won't help me here. Run like the wind. Tasty and delicious too. Oh shit, we missed our turn again. Fuck what? God, dude, I, I swear I'm not like this when I'm driving on the highway. I'm not like that guy that is always like missing his exit and shit. I swear to God, I'm not that guy. I don't know how that keeps happening to me in this game. It didn't even look like there was anywhere to go over here, chat. That's honestly that's on the that's the fault of the game design. That's that's world design issue. Not that stupid chocobo running into trees. That's not my fault. That's not my fault. It's not my fault. Thanks, girl. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Give me thunder. Nasty. No way. It can reach that far? How did I reach them? That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. 
That's kind of crazy. That's all of them. The well, area of effect on that spell now. is insane. That's crazy. It's the chocobo with the lousy sense of direction. Yes, Spider Rock. Thank you. That's exactly what the problem is. Wasn't expecting you back so soon. What do you mean by that? Good, thankfully. Oh God, I don't want to listen to this guy. Brilliant! Thanks a blimmin' million. I'll fit into the smelter right away. There we go. Hopefully he makes something good for us that we can use. Maybe maybe we'll get like that flame tongue or whatever the fuck it was. Maybe we'll get something like that. We can use it to uh, to craft ourselves a new armor piece or something. That would be cool. May I present to you the Telemon Furnace in Badishi. She's a beauty. You saved my beacon again, Sid. It's it's fine, really. My bag's uh, flexible enough already. Even Clav knows, bro. We don't need more potions. Oh, don't say that. I'm sure I can make a few improvements to it. Yeah. You could just buy me a bigger. How about that clasp? Looks a bit stiff. Reckon you could loosen it up and make some more room. And I reckon I know how. With a new alloy we've been working on. It's a really metal, see? So Okay, let's just is this what we're getting? More more potion capacity? If it's for the tonics, then that's cool, because I really don't use the tonics that much, and I probably should. Necessary for the increasing consumables. Wow, okay. If if it applies to tonics, I'm fine with it. If it's just potions, then that's that's going to be really disappointing. Item capacity plus. You have obtained an expanded potion satchel. Further increasing your capacity for carrying consumables. Item slot increases potions, high potions. Okay, strength and stone skin tonic both went up one. Good. 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 That's good. All right. Happy days. We have one more mission here at the Hideaway. Blacksmith's Blues 4. Come on, bro. Oh my god. We're just redoing this over and over and over, huh? All right. All right. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh my god. All right. Let's see what this weird, hopeless romantic lady says this time. Then again, why settle for low-born chaff when we've Honest to goodness royalty right here beneath our roof. If Prince Dion cannot see my love for him, then perhaps the Phoenix will. She's just horny for whoever's in the infirmary. That's what it is with her. Whoever it is that's in the infirmary, she's just horny for them. She's got like that 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 nurse mommy taking care of somebody mentality thing, kink. Jesus. All right. Well, the Phoenix is passed out at the moment. I don't think he's aware of your love. What a weirdo. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. How far are we away? 19. Oh, we're 200 away. Out there, yeah. Sid. Nurse Ratch. I'm saying. Heard the bad news then. That is, that is true, though. Nurses are extremely horny. I don't know why. What bad news? About Dravosht. Blackthorn's old horn. With the forge and all that. Well, anyway, the mine's just down the road from there, a spewing out ether like no one's business. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. A Kashik. Every creature in the area is either turned or on the way to turning, apparently. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help and quick. Doris all sent right. a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts can do. Except get eaten. If something ain't done soon, the old place will be overrun. I won't let that happen. Didn't think you would. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. He'd only do something stupid. True. You should tell him. No. It's better this way. Yeah, well. I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. All right. Blacksmith. Okay. At least this one seems more interesting than the other blacksmith side quest. 
By the way, this is episode 16 of Final Fantasy 16. I don't know why, but that, that just makes it extra interesting to me. 16 streams before they kissed. Jesus Christ. They really made me work for that shit. That was me the whole time. Skip, skips. Well, I try to only skip the dialogue where it's just, you know, talking for the sake of talking. For now, at least. If you can swing a hammer, you can swing a sword. I just, I never thought I'd have to. That's crazy that you thought that. That's crazy. Here we go. Take a look at my... All right, yeah. Clive! You're here! And the Akashic. Mostly off to the north still. But I spoke to Doris's scouts and it turns out things are worse than I thought. There's swarms of them out there. All right. Told old Snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. That should buy us some time if we need it. Enough for the villagers to barricade themselves. Well done. Welcome back. Oh, hey. I'd never have guessed, you know. Not if August hadn't let slip. Who'd have thought that the savior of Dravost would turn out to be the realm's most infamous outlaw? Keen to help us out again? I am. Thought you could sneak off without me, did you? Oh, shit. I knew he'd show up. Blackthorn. Oh, what are you doing here? One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. Unlike my best mate who didn't think I deserved to know. So then, how long's it been? Long enough for us two to turn into a pair of old codgers, I see. Then your idea of an apology. Prick. Don't listen to him. You only did what you thought was best. <sighs> I did. Yeah, but that ain't the whole of it. <sighs> Vulcan, our master, didn't leave the chieftain to the two of us. He left it to me. The best blacksmith in Dravosht, barring himself, of course. Bloody stupid tradition, in my opinion. If someone's mm. got talent, you should let them practice their craft, not ask them to settle petty feuds and barter for grain. Our master wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you're wasting half of mine instead. You're what Dravos needed. I'm I feel like um, screen is too orange. I, th this game, like when it gets, when it gets bright, like in the world, I guess when the cloud, I don't know how the weather system in this game works, but when it gets bright, it does get really saturated. I just feel like um, we should be like preparing for battle instead of having this conversation right now, boys. For me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. So I left to devote myself to the work and spare you lot the consequences. I may be a selfish prick, but I only did what I felt I had to. What you had to do was your duty. Even if it meant we all starved? Enough. This is no time for bickering. You can finish beating each other up once Dravosht is safe. Fine. I've said my piece anyway. Yeah. So have I. Sorry, Clive. I shouldn't have stuck my nose in. I'm short enough on time as it is. Still, give us a mo, would you? I need to get my head straight before any of them Akashic try to bite it off. There you go. Is that better? There you go. I, t I, I turn I turns I turn down some of that saturation for you, Chad. Is that better? There we go. There we go. N now, there you know that's better, right? All right. Good. 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 There we go. Shouldn't be shouldn't be too bad. All right. Um, speak with August when you're ready. All right. Uh, well, I I mean I don't see anything else we need to do. Uh, perfect. There you go. Thank you, Meg. Uh, we might need to buy some potions. Looks like we're gonna have a big fight. Looks like we're gonna have a big fight here. Yeah, yeah, we need to buy some potions. Certainly. Here you are. Do, 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 do. Certainly. Thank you. There you go. May we meet again. What? Is that is that not good enough? Oh my god, nothing's ever good enough for you. Jesus, guys. Alright.
There we go. There, is that better? All right. Hey, Painbow. What a name. Let's do it. We can't afford to waste any more time. Right, you are. Might be worth having one last word with the scouts, though. Don't want any nasty surprises, do we? Oh, and Blackthorn. You and Zoltan might be better off staying inside the... Akashic on the move. How close are they? Within sight of the walls. And there are more coming up from... <sighs> All right, here we go. They'll wash right over us if we stay out in the open. Mm, don't idea. wash over me. Understood. Okay. Here we go. I'm prepared to fight if I have to. Well, let's hope you don't. Once the scouts are in, no heroic love. Oh, Jesus Christ, guys. Hell no. Hell no. Is the is it because I skipped? Why is the game doing this to me? The fuck? I thought we were going to face like a horde of Akashic. The fuck is this thing right here? Ah, oh, fuck me, man. All right. All right. Which one of you is first? Well, I think it should probably be the big one in the fucking middle, Clive, if you want my opinion. Oh, shout out to Callista. Congratulations on your Twitch account. GG's. for the uh, sub as well ah uh, thank you sama for the gifted sub oh uh, okay well i like your names on both platforms for what it's worth Thank you also. Spider Rock gifted that. Thank you, Spider Rock. I appreciate that. 32 gifted in the channel, man. An almost hype train. Oh, yeah, you're 93% of the way to a hype train. Thank you, guys. Twi Twitch just randomly pops off. I love it. Oh, shit. Okay, sorry. I got to pay attention. I took my eye off the game for two seconds. Oh, hell no. Midair? That's sick. There it is. Get his ass down. That's right. Ooh. Too easy. Is that it? Don't don't say that. Clive, why the fuck would you say not. that? It's funny because that's basically what typical Callista said in the Twitch chat. He basically said, is that it? And then Clive said, is that it? And then there was more, and then there was more. So that kind of, the game coordinated with the Twitch chat to start that hype train. Appreciate you. Hold on. Let me uh, fix my camera here. There we go. All right. Um... I mean, this will be an easy fight, right? They're not getting past me. Yeah. Oh! 
Woohoo! Get parried. Yo, thank you for the 500 bits, Callista, and the 400 Spider Rock. Appreciate you, Twitch chat. Stagger? There we go. There we go. Boy, he was in the middle of an attack. Hype train, I see you. Level two hype train, I see you over there. I'm multitasking right now. I'm multitasking. I see the train. I see y'all running that train over there in the Twitch chat. Pause. Not exactly the way I meant for that to come out. All yours, Toho. fighting this uh chimera for you guys i see you over there 200 from Callista. show that oversized steroid kitten bird thing who's boss i will brother i will for you guys Ooh, precision dodge suck my dick yo thank you so much i see you popping off over there I swear I thought I would have had him. I thought I would have had him killed by now. It's not my fault, chat. He's tankier than I thought he was going to be, chat. I got him, though. I got him. Oh, shit. Bro, I see y'all. Level three hype train? Okay, okay. I'm going to keep doing my thing. You keep doing your thing. Shit on. Get shit on. Damn, I feel like I should be wearing like one of those black suits that assassins wear like Agent 47 and Hitman, you know, like with a little bow tie or something that I could adjust after whooping someone's ass like that. I feel like I just assassinated that weird bear lying snake bird thing. Yeah. Woo! Callista, we might have. What up, Rob Gotti? Good to see you, champ. No, the question is... Did I miss any? No, no, don't say shit like that, bro. Man alive! You still in one piece! Damn right. I slew as many as I could. Thank you, Jinx and Callista. Had <laughs> to join in. Could, he says. The old bleeding lot more like Coral you. Whisperer, 500, I see you. Only almost. 200 from Callista yeah, again. One or two Hell like yeah. Over the wall. We got the bastards, don't you worry. Good. Shit! Thank you, boys. How you do know? I slew as many All as I could. In time. Mm. In True. Time, yeah. Thank you for the 100 bits, Callista. G fucking G's chat. Oh shit! Level 38 percent on the hype train. Y'all are really pushing it up. Are y'all gonna push it to level four? I see you, boys. Another 200 from Spider Rot. Thank you, bro. GG's. Report back to Zoltan. You mean take 10 steps? Fine. Sid, <laughs> you're even more fierce than I want that reputation. shirt off again. I mean, yeah, listen, though, listen. Last time I did that, I broke my... We can't break this chair. This was a gift from Sama. Things. Sama bought us this but one. But mostly, I felt grateful. I'm afraid I've only delayed the inevitable. There's no getting rid of that ether flood. Meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing at your walls again. And that's if the flood don't spread. I hate to say it, but the village's days are numbered. That may be, but 
with staying just the same. <laughs> Your village's days are numbered, and my man said that may be, but we're staying just the same. That makes me think of people that live in like Tornado Alley and shit like that. Like it's like every like three years a tornado destroys their home and they just rebuild on the same spot. Like, all right, man, I see. You. All right, you know, your village's days are numbered. And they're like, well, we're staying just the same. My family grew up here. My family's family grew up here. Thank you so much, Typical Callista, for the uh, 200 more bits. 47% of the way on uh, level three. Thank you, fam. Appreciate you, Twitch chat. With either floods springing up all over, we'll fortify the gates to the north. That'll make a difference. And I'll see that they're guarded day and night. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. it, it is what it is moving is expensive and fate is unknowable damn that sounds what just happened and there it is level four cheddar rob brought us all the way with five gifted subs ultramark galdors talon debris i see you king trio sniper thank you so much uh gravity thank you so much for the uh two dollar super chat saw you live damn i can't keep up we'll just we're having a party we're just having a party we're just having a party yeah i'm down with it we're just having a little party i'm cool with it gravity said i saw you live i'm not staying enjoy the stream Hashtag Ma Maester Sama. How the fuck? How, how, people I've never seen before coming in here and donating just to just to hashtag Sama's name. This is bullshit. What the fuck? Spider Rock gifted five subs over in the Twitch chat. I see you, King. We'll let the we'll let the game run. Zorik, Ren Blossom. Lelala, la, la. Ryuzaki, and Lini Honey. What a name. Thank you so much. All enjoy your gifted subs. Thank you, Twitch chat. You guys really pulled your dick out today. Love to see it. You've been binging 9 and 10? Man, so good. That ending of 10, like the ending of 10 chokes me up every time I see it, man. And that song that plays during the ending of 10 every time loyalty loyalty to me sama not you your streams are always great thanks for the fun times thank you man it wouldn't be fun without you guys here there it is we accepted the cracked anvil. All right. Now, return to the hideaway and speak to... Look at this shit. Look at this shit. What, what, what is the, what is the mission? Return to the hideaway and speak to Blackthorn. He's right there he's right there he's he, i'm literally i'm speaking life. to him right now off, are you fucking shitting in my mouth right now are you are you seriously gonna hold me down on the floor pry open my jaws and shit in my mouth like that what do you mean i have to go back to the hideaway to talk to black he's right the fuck in front of me yoshi You gotta be shitting me, bro. Ah, all right. Makes sense. Final Fantasy 16 logic chat. It is what it is. It is what the fuck it is, I guess. Level five hype train, 53%. Thank you, GGs. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Thank you, Twitch, for, for picking up the slack when this fucking game is sitting here just fucking trolling me. Thank you, guys. Making it worth my time. 
Rex is tripolar. I am not bipolar or tripolar. What's up, Firebird? Good to see you. Maybe he's Ultima. Maybe he is. X is always peak. Y'all be easy. Thank you, Gravity, for, for uh, saying hey and uh, hanging around, man. I appreciate that a lot. All right. All right. Here we go. Here come. Ah, here we go. The man himself. We were just about to make a start on that sword I promised you. It's funny, but none of this would have been possible without your help. You remember Camille? We'll be using his level work for the grip. Oh, y'all making something for me? Meanwhile, we'll oh, y'all making something for me? Cinders you charmed out of old salt down here. Oh shit! And that wet stone from the outer oils? That'll be what gives the blade its edge. What you making? What you making, baby? What you cooking up? And the final flourish will be my talented colleagues engraving. Oh yeah. Oh A yeah. Team effort led by the greatest blacksmith alive. Yeah, cook, baby, cook. Now, now. Save that talk to the things finished, yeah? All right. Right. I'm ready if you are. Hold up, chat. To the bellows it is then. Oh shit. Mmm, I'm gonna crumb. See what they make. Hype train finished at level five. Thank you, boys. Well, bugger me. <laughs> we actually did it. Oh, shit. Oh, that's sexy. The sword to end all swords. Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Oh. It's quite something. This feels like some end game uh, shit. Trust you'll take good care of it. Oh, yeah, I Thank will. You. Both of you. So, does this make you pair the greatest craftsman alive, then? <laughs> this? <laughs> nah. This was just following the footsteps of the greats of old. It'll take more than that to earn us our place in history. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we're up for the challenge. Yeah. A list of materials. Zoltan and I got talking on the long road. Whoa, whoa, whoa materials. Whoa, 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 what do you reckon with those items there? We could craft something even better than the Ragnarok. What? Something worthy of a legendary outlaw like yourself. No, what do you mean? That's you... a weapon I'd like to see. You. You leave this list with me. I was hoping you'd say that. One legend at a time, eh, lads? You gotta be fucking Before you kidding start me. on the next. Who fancies raising a cup to friendship reforged? You gotta be fucking Good kidding idea. me, bro. No more drinking to forget my past. It's about time I had something to celebrate. No, man. <laughs> then tap the kegs. Vulcan's boys are... You're fucking kidding me. You mean to tell me... You mean to tell me I did that whole fucking quest just to get these two guys together to make a legendary sword for me and give it to me and then also give me a list of materials to go and fetch because oh oh guess what we can make an even better sword than this one just make the better sword then you fox just make the better sword <sighs> Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. I cannot with this fucking game. I cannot, bro. Trouble with your gear, or Okay. <laughs> I never thought me and Zolta and would ever speak again. Let alone work together. And if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't. <clears throat> so crazy. Would it be? That's crazy. Oh my God. Okay. Ah, all right, whatever. I still can't make the armor that I need. Let's see if we can reinforce anything. Anything else? The oh my god, okay. Yeah, the heat is terrible, you're right. No, no, Tyler, I'm fine. Think Rex needs some milk? Yeah, yeah, milk. Yeah, like that dude from the boys. 
somebody sent me a clip of him getting some milk the other day i was like jesus christ what is this show everybody keeps talking about it uh, i kind of i think i see why all right let's uh equip ragnarok Oh yeah, I mean, that's just, that's just better in every way. Yeah, there it is. That's sexy. That's sexy. Uh, we have a letter to read. Milk. Uh, Telemon maid. From mid, thanks again for helping get the dungeon in order. Had you not rode gallantly to our rescue, I reckon poor Owain and them lot would still be stuck still in Blightwater over a bonner. There's always room for improvement though, so don't get your knickers in a knot should I come a knocking at your chamber door looking for more spheres and ash and whatnot, mid. Thank you, mid. All right, boys. G fucking G's. We have a mission here at Martha's Rest. Rekindling the flame. Let's do it. We got to re rekindle that bitch. Clive, I was just about to send for you. I bet you were. I need to take something to Sir Wade up in Eastpool. Seeds for planting. Thought it was about time they started growing their own food. I'll mm. keep providing them with whatever they need in the meantime, of course. But if Eastpool's going to survive, it's got to be able to fend for itself. As of those poor bearers, they've lived their whole lives in servitude. But now they're their own masters. Small wonder they ain't got the foggiest out to provide for themselves. So it's up to us to teach them. And if you're wondering why you, well, the Wagoneers taking supplies up that way have been coming back with more and more reports of Akashic around the village of late. Sir Wade's putting a brave face on it. But I think even he's starting to worry. All right. So uh, we'll deliver the seeds to East Pool and probably clean up some Akashic. Too easy. Rex, the dogs attacked people in bed. But it's okay, I'm back now. I mean, as long as the dogs are okay. That's that's what's important. That's what's that's what's really important. Alright, here we go. What flame are we are we rekindling? Skip Tyree, what up, big dog? Celine Vassos back in action. Who's Celine Vassos? I forgot. Yo, Josh, what up? Good to see you, King. Give me one second. You knew I was going to ask, Skip. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, Eric, you are fucking walling, bro. Oh, my God. That that is the most interesting way I've seen somebody keep the fucking <laughs> keep the returnal meme going. Jesus Christ, bro. What a fucking G. What a fucking G. Josh. Thank you for the 499 super chat. Final Fantasy 16 quest structure is absolute shit and there's no way around it. Don't know what Yoshi P was thinking there. Too much of the game feels redundant. I absolutely understand where you're coming from, bro. It, it feels like, is this how quest design is in his MMO? Is this what his quest design like is in Final Fantasy XIV? Because I feel like maybe that's where it comes from. He just like did like a one-to-one -one instead of like what should have been like a translation of mission design instead of a one-to-one. -one. You guys tell me what you think. You guys, you guys have to fill me in on that. Let's talk to our boy, Wade. Thank you, Josh. Ah. Lord Rossfield, what brings you to Eastpool? A delivery from Martha. Seeds, baby. 
These are Ghazal green seeds. Ghazal, that's how they say it. Martha's okay. keen to cut the apron strings, then, is she? I jest, of course. You see, I had thought we might be able to revive the old wheat fields, but they'd long since gone to seed. Only without the seeds. Martha was hoping you might be able to show the bearers how to plant and tend these, so that they'll be able to fend for themselves. That's not a bad idea. These bearers had only recently escaped their bonds before we brought them here. They know little of freedom, of providing for themselves and their loved ones. Unless we teach them how to live like free men, I fear that all we have achieved in bringing them here is to exchange one master for another. Not that True. myself and the Guardians have been the best example to them so far, subsisting almost entirely on Martha's charity as we do. It's about time we all started to provide for ourselves, bearers and Guardians alike. True, Wade. Unfortunately, we've been a little too busy of late to focus on much besides bolstering our defenses. There have been alarming reports of... The Horde is closing in. They're coming, so wait, all of them. Damn it all. I thought we'd have more time. Gather the men in the square. Send to the rest for reinforcements. Yes, Sir Wade. The Horde. A Kashek, a veritable legion of them. They've been seen prowling around the northern reaches for a while now. We don't have the numbers to hold back a swarm that size. I had hoped to build a perimeter wall so that myself and the Guardians might be able to defend the village, but... Now you're out of time. Precisely. What if you could call on reinforcements from Eastpool? You mean the bearers? We brought them here so they might live, not die, fighting for their lives. So wait. You said you lack men to defend the village. Are the bearers not men? Do they not wish to see Eastpool saved, though they may not be trained soldiers like your guardians? What help they are able to offer could still prove the difference between victory and defeat. True. You're right, my lord. I will appeal to them. Can't play 14. I've tried watching others do it and it just loses me. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I'm the same way with MMOs. I, 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 tr I when, every time I see gameplay of an MMO, I'm just like, I don't see the appeal my friends i humbly beg your aid but you know a lot of games are like that i'm we sure if i played it i'd feel differently enemies many but i swear we can defeat them with you at our side all right oh yeah oh look how eager they look combat they ready us to the slaughter to serve as bait for those fiends so that you and your men might be spared. Ooh. And to think we trusted you. Say what you will. A home is not worth dying for. But it is worth fighting for. Sir Wade fights to give you lot a chance. Just like I do. Just like Sid does. We all wanted to give you a home where you could be free. And you got one. This would be more impactful if I hadn't already seen literally this exact same scene 12 times already in this game. Skip. Well, if it was numbers you were lacking, you certainly won't be now. Thanks to you. Me? Oh, I just love the sound of my own voice. Lord Rossfield, my lady, we're ready. So what's the plan of action? We'll divide our forces into several small detachments, each made up of guardians, bearers, and guards from the rest. These will position themselves at strategic points around the village. Upon engaging with the Akashic, each detachment will keep the creatures occupied as best they can, steadily retreating all the while. Hey, John, good to, to see you. going to them into the village. I am. We will have neither the time nor the resources to treat the wounded. Oh, God. So injuries must be avoided at all costs. Oh, there you go. Instead, good plan. We will focus purely on defense. Wade just gave them the same advice my chat gives me all the time. Just don't die. Yeah, that's the strategy, Rex. Just, just don't get hit. Just don't get hit. Just don't die. Wade literally just did to Clive what my chat does to me every fucking day. Crazy. 
but one that'll require a leader with a cool no, head and no wonder you guys like wade so much i see it now i see Stay why both in abundance await please leave the last of the fighting to me ha and let you have all the glory sir wade they're here then you know what you must do you heard what Clive said. He said, please leave the last of the fighting to me. And Wade said, yeah, and let you have all the glory. You know what that translates to? Wade just said, I'm going to steal your kill. That's what that was. That's what that was. He was saying one, one, at the last of the fighting, Wade's going to steal my kill. This is bullshit. We've no time to argue, my lord. This fucking game. I'll do as you ask. Cool. And here it comes. I will not let this village fall. Get out of here. Get wrecked. that oh this is the only enemy left standing all right oh wow okay Wow. Okay. Okay. Good materials. Looks like that's the last of them. Lord Rossfield, change of plan. What is it? Owl from the rest. An Akashic curl's been sighted on Rhiannon's ride and is headed in their direction. Okay. Well, the better half of her guard is here. So wait. How many Akashic remain in East Pool? Hard to say. My men are still facing some resistance, but I think the worst is behind us. I could order a detachment or two to fall back and... No. Let them finish the job. You stay here too, Sir Wade. I'll go after the... Join me only when... Gotcha. Alright. <laughs> Johnny boy, how are you doing? Well, let's let's get close and then uh, I'll see if I need to switch my uh, I, I probably don't need to switch any of my attacks. Ready, go. Okay, I think we probably will need to go. Oh, I can't change while I'm in combat. Okay, they ran away. I feel like we're probably going to have to fight um, like a boss type enemy. So... raise our defense we'll keep Torgal on auto and we'll switch over to this
Here it is. All right. There it is. With me, Toggle. Too slow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mega Flare. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I treated that like that was going to be a tough fight. All right. Back to East Pool. Yeah. Yeah, easy indeed. Lord Rossfield, the curl, is it? It's dead. Thank the founder for that. And for you, my lord. We were able to eradicate the rest of the horde. I have guardians posted around the village to keep watch for further attacks, but all seems quiet for now. I hesitate to say it, but... I think it might be over. I think it might. We did it. We saved Eastpool. Nice. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. No, Sir Wade. It's us who should be thanking you. You brought us together. Showed us what it means to fight for what you hold dear. Mm -hmm. We never had nothing to call our own before, but now we do. I can't. I've, I've already heard this conversation 30 times. I can't. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. The hero returns. Mm -hmm. It's lucky you came by when you did, eh? Not only did my seeds get delivered, but you went and saved Eastpool and all. I just mm -hmm. did what I could. And it's only right that you get rewarded for it. Take it before. I All right. What did we get? Thank you, Moth. So, and a home to free bearers. Well, it was your. I know that. Though I. You bet. I... What? If... He showed up at the state. I don't care. Martha's Rest Signboard. Okay, so we got something for Cloud's Chambers. Cool. All right. Yeah, I, I'm sorry to anybody that gets upset with me skipping, but if they if they did not want me to skip this dialogue, they shouldn't have made it so shitty. If they didn't want me skipping, like, side quest dialogue, they should have made side quests more interesting. Like like maybe that last bit of dialogue was going to be something interesting but they make you eat so much dog shit before you get to anything good in these side quests i just don't I, by the time i get there i don't give a fuck anymore i don't care like oh but this is really meaningful character progression i don't give a shit i don't fucking care anymore you beat out every like you 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 beat my patience to death you beat my patience to fucking death Can't do it. All right, we got a letter to read. Let's do that real quick. Oh, that was Yote. I do want. Oh, there she is. You can't talk to her yet. I do want to. Uh, I do want to see more of that character. I think she's interesting. Explaining how she met Sid. These days. Okay. 
Well, that's cool. Trouble with your gear, or? Uh, no, we're gonna read a letter. Cheap viewers on asterisk, asterisk, ask, asterisk. I'll make sure I keep that in mind. There we go. Courage to fight. From Martha. What happened in East Pool with the Bearers and the Guardians has been a long time coming, and I'm proud that it could finally happen here in Rosaria. The Duchy of Old may be no more, but Archduke Elwyn's dream still burns in the hearts of many. And it is through victories such as these that that fire will spread. This is only the beginning, Clive, but a fine beginning it is. It's nice. All right. Done and done. And where's our next side quest? We have one down here at the Dalamil Inn. Lines in the sand. Let's do it. Hey, Keese, what up, bro? Caught up live with the stream? Hey, man, I'm glad you're here, bro. Things back the way it was. Take that, you naughty thing. Clive! To what do I owe the pleasure? I just wanted to see how the town's been faring since you brought everyone together. Uh, since we brought everyone together, all is absolutely wonderful. Conrad and Natalie's hands remain safely away from each other's th and firmly at the helm. Our stores are full, and the bandits still too disorganized to raid them. Just as the good Lady Jane and Lord Underhill intended. Hmm. Are you a lord? Lubor's going to be one too. They're going to make him the Lord of Dalamil. Because of how he stopped all the grown-ups from fighting. Yeah, Keith, that was crazy. It's the mayor of Dalamil, dear child. And the vote hasn't taken place just yet. But if the people wish me to lead them, I shall. And my first act will be to build a school so that menaces like you two learn not to interrupt your elders. Speaking of menaces, there may be a rather worrying one just over the horizon. May there indeed. I'm afraid the example Conrad and Natalie set in putting aside their differences in presenting a united front might have caught the bandits' ah. attention. Okay. And they might have elected to take a similar approach. They have formed what one could call a League of Outlaws. Okay. And they grow more organized by the day. We'll fight them all off just like last time. No matter how many of them there are. Won't we, Lubor? Of course we will. If we continue to work together, we can overcome any challenge we choose to face. The longer we avoid facing this one, the more difficult it will be. Until the only way to overcome it might be to run for the hills. Our best hope is to nip these efforts at organization in the bud by finding those ne'er do wells who have yet to join the cause and ensuring that they never do. Perhaps a certain Lord Underhill might be willing to lend us his aid once more. Cool. All right, let's do it. How could I refuse? Lines in the sand. Okay, so that bandits are teaming up. Ah, uh, Timster, Timster is just one bot. I'm, I'm no, you know, there's nothing to worry about with one bot. A league of outlaws. Sounds like we have some competition. No, 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 Keys. It was just uh somebody trying to uh. It was just a bot trying to sell Still for Dalamil, sell Victor. for viewers and stuff. It's not a big deal. Ah, Sid. I thought you'd have returned to Costness by now. I did. I've developed something of a fondness for the place. And having worked so hard to see it saved from one fate, it would seem remiss to abandon it to another. A sentiment Master Lubor certainly isn't shy about exploiting. Hence my doing his bidding yet again. You're not the only one. <laughs> what does he want you to do? He asked for my aid in putting down the bandits. And he said that you might be able to help me find them. Then you've come at just the right time. That's what she said. I was said. on my way to speak with Conrad about how to organize our forces. 
There are more camps in the vicinity than we can safely strike at once. But we must strike together, and we must strike soon at as many camps as we can. We can't give this League of theirs time to rally its forces. Damn right. right. There's one up here. That's cool. I already get it. All right, so we're going to go uh, take care of this camp over here. Too easy. Easiest fight of my fucking life. Let's uh, actually, let's go back and uh, put on our mob abilities. Should we, should we try the uh, ice abilities? Ah, we'll, we'll, we'll I'll, I'll play with it off stream. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll do it tomorrow. We'll, we'll use, uh, we'll use the Shiva abilities tomorrow. We'll use the Shiva abilities tomorrow. Where's the, uh, uh, ability points. That's what I want. More ability points. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and yeah we need to we need to undo aerial blast well i mean not unlearn the whole thing but oh my oh we just barely chat have enough let's upgrade judgment bolt that's fucking sick increased bolts Ooh, daddy okay good Good, good, good. Uh, and we've got our Torgal stuff and ability points. Okay, cool. Cool. That's sexy. That's sexy. Let's get our let's get our Bokucho. Good girl. Whoop, go no Bokucho. Faster. Come on, Bokucho. There we go. Do to do my dick. We're level 42. I am not going to stop to fight level 32 dogs. Waste of my time. One thing I really appreciate about this game is you really don't have to grind. We've had to do pretty much no grinding. That must be the camp Vic mentioned. Come on, Antogo. Okay. I was like, are we going to get to talk to him? But no. Let's try it out. Here we go. Oh! That was awesome. Farewell. How many kills? How many kills? Seven. Sick. Is that it? Damn, Torgle. Save some for me, buddy. This is so overkill. Nine. Poor bastard. Torgal, don't steal my kill. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Tor <laughs> Damn, I knew Torgal was gonna try to steal my kill, bro. I knew Torgal was gonna try to steal my kill. Bro. Oh my god. I better let Victor know. Sid, where are you? I was six feet in front of you when you said that, bro. Ah, I see the bandits didn't pose you any trouble. No, of course not. That's not why you're here, is it? No. Something's happened. We need you back in Dalimil. What is it? The whole town's in uproar. They're saying that Lubor is a bearer. What? Seems that one of our parties wasn't as thorough as they should have been. They let one of the bandits escape, and his escape route took him right through Dalamo. Some of the children spotted him, and he was about to silence them when Lubor felled him with a bolt of magic and without a crystal. 
That's oh. impossible. It is, if he's a bearer and has been hiding it all these years, which is what people are saying. If he has, well, I wouldn't blame him. No man is branded by choice. Still, all those people see... Okay, well, uh, now we gotta go deal with a bunch of people that are basically racist. Fair enough. And now everyone knows. <laughs> I made it a habit to keep a crystal close at hand for just such an occasion. And when that occasion arose, I forgot to reach for it. He saved a bunch of children's lives. Ima imagine being in a town where this dude just saved a bunch of children's lives and people are like, Oh my God, did you know that he's a bearer? Did you know that he is bearer trash? Oh my God, how embarrassing. Crazy. Well, it was bound to come out sooner or later. We're sorry, Lugo. We tried to keep running, but we just couldn't anymore. There's nothing to be sorry for. I rather enjoyed playing the hero for once. All that matters to me is that you two are safe. Look at him talking to his betters like it's nothing. <laughs> it's so absurd, bro. All lies are wager. Just like the ones he fed us all these years. Once people make up their minds, it's hard to change them. We need to do something and quickly convince the people not to let their prejudices blind them. Convince them that nothing has changed, that their enemy lies outside these walls, not within them. Bro, I think they might be too stupid for me to convince. You're right. We should speak to everyone. All right, we'll try. I'm glad you agree. I'm a downright born and bred. They'll you head to the tavern. Make they know, Lord. Oh my God, I get it, bro. All right. Why are you taking the bearer's side, Victor? Are you one too? Oh you know I'm not. my Just God! Listen. The disrespect. Why do they always have to make such a fuss outside? It's driving away our customers. Now, see, you can. Now, she's. That's that's real. That's actually a plus writing, because that's how any server. She looks like a server at a restaurant too. That's that's how any server at a restaurant. I used to work at a lot of restaurants. That's exactly how we would be. We would be outside like, oh my fucking God, you're going to drive away all of my customers. Take it somewhere else. That's 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 so real. He knew all along that he was. All right. Forgive me for disturbing you, but could I have a moment of your time? Hmm. I've seen your face before. As have I. Lord Underhill, wasn't it? Of the League of Merchants. If they're stupid enough to look at the obvious bearer tattoo that Clive had on his face and still believe he's Lord Underhill, I mean, maybe they're so stupid that we can manipulate them like super easy. Maybe I'm looking at it wrong. Maybe their stupidity is actually a benefit for us. That's right. I wanted to speak to you about Lubor. The rumors that he's a bearer. All true, I'm afraid. Mm. He'll never be mayor now. Not if I have anything to do with it. Mm. But what of his wares? Bearer or no, his steel is highly valued throughout the Republic. In this, at least, he's done the town a service. Might that not earn him a little leniency? Leniency? He pretended to be one of us when he was laughing behind our backs all the while. I'm sorry, my lord, but he lied to us. He lied to you. He cannot be trusted. So what do you propose? Will you drive him from his home? Close his forge? Perhaps. That is a question for the people of Dalamil, and they will thank you not to get involved. Wow. Yeah. Even Clive was just like, fuck this, I'm just gonna walk away. The townsfolk have made their minds up. There was nothing I could do. Nor I. Conrad and Natalie refused to consider anything but their own wounded pride. You never know. Once their anger is cooled, they might see things differently. All right. True, Spider. Okay. 
Report back to Luber. Why the hell would Victor take the bearer's side? It is not. No, 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 no. This game is not giving me the option to fast travel 18 yards, is it? Like, nah, that's not Luber, is it? Yeah. <laughs> How lazy are we, chat? You know what? 18 yards in that heat? No, I think I'll fast travel. It's too far to walk, guys. I don't even have a bottle of water. There we go. Woo! Saved a trip. GG's, Yoshi P. The situation is hopeless. There's still hope. But. Na na na. Na na na. But perhaps not in this lifetime, I think it's fair to say. You mustn't think like that, Lubo. Give them time. They'll come around. We'll you, talk some sense into them. In you the hope. You'll see. No. Thank you God won't. that was an option. That's and right, Timster. But Lubo. I don't care. GG's. Hey, I think we leveled up. Hey, there you go. Meteorite, okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, all right. That quest is done and we have duty undying. All right. Sounds like it could be interesting. Let's uh, let's go check it out. Let's go take a look. My duty is undying. Lord Rosfield, is there aught the undying might assist you with this day? Perhaps. My brother said that your order was helping him with his quest to uncover Ultima's origins. Have you learned anything of note since last we spoke? Oh. Little and less, I regret to report. I see. Be assured, however, that we will not rest until the truth is known. Even now, our archaeologians scour ruins in every corner of the realm for traces of Ultima's touch. Fallen ruins, I take it. Dating back as far as Phoenix Gate. Indeed. Ultima's thralls are oft sighted among the remnants of the fallen civilization, as if protecting the secrets concealed within. All right, now we might be getting to something really Earth. interesting. Like Should this might be worth my time. Be of interest, may hope it would please you to observe some of our number at work. The Undying Quest, sir. Yeah, this this looks this immediately looks interesting to me. Lore on Ultima, I'm here for it. Would that be possible. Of course. A survey has been conducted not far from here. Perchance you are familiar with Kretov, a small hamlet built around a fallen airship. I was due to visit my colleagues there to collect their preliminary findings, but if you would consent to do so in my stead, I'm sure that they would be honored to relate any discoveries they have made to you directly. All right, I'll go and meet with them. They will be most gratified, I am sure. Might I suggest you take the road through Titan's Wake? It mm. will lead you straight to the village. Of we should get an item because one of the items that we needed for one of our big upgrade was like Titan's something. It might have been Titan's wall or Titan's gooch, Titan's hole, Titan's something, something. Titan sack? What was it? But a short walk. It was Titan something. We needed we needed an item. item. I'm sure I we're gonna get it here. A safe journey, my lord. Let's do it. I feel like this is gonna be like a really good side quest. Alright, this is where we gotta go. My 
All right, hold on. First, I need to buy some more um, stained loin loincloth. Yeah. Actually, I th sounds like another lost one. I, th I think we got plenty of stained loincloth in the uh, scene with Jill earlier at the beginning of the stream. Are you buying? What's that? I, don't know, so I think it's something different than that, guys. Anything else? Of course. Anything else? Yeah, 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 yeah. Titan taint. It's something like that. Yeah, Jinx. You're on to something over there. Good. Who's my best boy? Come, come here, socket pet. Torgle, stop. Fetch. There we go. Best boy. I want a wolf pet one day. Come on. We'll settle for a fox, but want wolf. Run like the wind. Buffalo. That's right, Spider. He's the best boy. Grab this. Two gill? Ah, three desert roses. Level 33. This will be easy. Oh my god. It, it, will, be, it will be extremely easy, bro. Bro, all I did was transform and he fucking passed out. Oh, he, he kind of just looks like he wants a belly rub when you look at him like that in slow-mo. You know what? I, I think it's kind of offensive, actually, that he keeps saying fly Ambrosia when Ambrosia clearly cannot fly. Like, you know what I mean? Like, isn't that kind of ableist? Like, Twitter would like to have a word with Clive right now. Safe. Uh, hello? Hello? Can you open the fucking door? Open the, open the fucking door, bro. What are you... Open the door! What the fuck? How... It, there's no way for me to... Like, what other way could I possibly get here? Like, there's no other... Oh... Oh my God. <sighs> yep. And there it is. Yeah, I know, Sama. I know, I know, I know. You would think by now I'd be used to going in that way. Hey, what's up, Outdoors? Good to see you. Firebird, you got it? Yeah, I know. Right, we, 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 we figured it out, boys. Yeah, through Titan's whale. Ready, go. All right, we got it. We got it. We fit. Hey, what the fuck? Right, nobody cares about them. Oh my god, this game. This game fucking tricked me, man. Level 33, not worth my time. Just give me the loot. No holding back. A gill bug? Great. Thank God. No, you fucking didn't. 
Bro. I cannot believe he knocked me off my motherfucking the disrespect, bro. Bro, I did not e I, I wasn't even trying to fight him. He just wanted to smoke for no reason. The disrespect. Come on. Fly Ambrosia. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. I feel like there's gonna be a hunt in this area. He jumped, he really did. Lizard really wanted, he did, he wanted the smoke. All right, let's see what's over here. I feel like there's gonna be a hunt over here. All right, let's grab this loot. Hey, wait a minute, what's this thing? Oh, hey! Mother! Ooh! Get shit on. Everybody just keeps picking a fight with me. Here we go. That this will probably end it. Oh man. This one. Okay. Okay. All right, for 3 desert roses, cool. Oh wait, 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 wait. This is interesting. Going to be something good in here. Ring of the Demolitionist. I'm going to kill Let's see what it is. Increases magic burst. What, what does that mean? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I get, for stagger. Okay, okay. That well, I mean that's not bad, but I don't, I don't care. They keep messing up my my chocobo, man. Ready, go. Don't get surrounded. Uh, I feel like we should just check over here in case there's some type of loot that I want. Goblin mugger. I'm good. Enough of you, are there? Three bloody holes. Hides. Hides. I mean hides. He'll get his, He's not worth my time. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. Well, maybe there's something over here. Three desert roses. Okay. Don't get surrounded. Man, this was quite a journey. Holy shit. All right, I feel like 
there's gonna be like some type of like boss like encounter over here so just in case i'm right let's hmm. We don't, I, we don't even need defense. I'm going to be honest with you. Let's just, uh, let's just, uh, Earth and Fury, 9.5 seconds. We could wheel, flare breath. Uh, we'll do aerial blast. We'll do aerial blast. I just have a feeling this is going to be some boss-like encounter. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Are those the bad guys? Oh, no. I, I don't think they're the bad guys. You'll pay for this. Will they, though? May still be survivors. There we go. Let's knock him back. Oh, is that it? Oh, okay. Interesting. All right. Let's see what else we got going on around this uh, town. Oh, cool potion. Whatever that thing is, I say it's their leader. This is. Let's get him then. Easy. <laughs> They're just getting wrecked while I'm charging Mega Flare. Yo, Keys, thank you for that super chat. I'll read it in just a minute, bro. Done. Done. <sighs> Cooked. Skylar, how are you doing? Keys, thank you so much. Give me one second. I'm going to read your chat. Uh... 499 British something pound great British pounds you know what I'm stupid and I shouldn't try to say things like that just seeing that it's been two years four months since blue box game studios posted online would have never have discovered you if it wasn't for abandoned holy shit two years and four months since they first posted. wait since the last time that they posted online Man, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's been a while, man. It's been a while. I, I'll, I'll always owe them for uh, helping make my career. Should've Great British proud. Okay, see, I was, I was on the right path, Keith. Thank you, bro. Hey, Moogle, how are you doing? Good to see you, and Skylar. These must be Cyril's colleagues. You have our thanks, stranger. Who are you? 
Ah, forgive me, my lord. I did not recognize you. You are Lord Rosfield, are you not? We are archaeologians tasked with surveying this site. When the echoes appeared, our brothers here occupied their attentions, thanks to them and to you. We were, for a mercy, able to see our duty to its conclusion. You call that a mercy? Your brothers might still be alive if you put their safety before your duty. Surely this survey wasn't one. Yo, Sama, thank you. You gifted a tier one sub to Moogle. 900 gifted subs in the channel. Jesus Christ. Wow. 900. Damn, that's, that's crazy. Thank you so much. Wow. Dying for. Huge W, Sama. Thank you. We are charged with uncovering Ultima's origins. A duty of the highest import, as I'm sure you will agree. And you think your dead brothers would agree? It's a lot with of you love. Too? I know they would. They gave their lives for the cause, an honor to which all undying aspire. Now, to what do we owe the honor of your presence, Lord Marquis? Cyril told me of your work here, and I agree to collect your findings in his stead. I see. That is most kind. Pray, take them then, with our humble thanks. May the Firebird's flame burn ever in your heart. Okay. It's one thing to lay down your life for another, but for a survey. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't. I'd better get this back to Cyril. I don't think Clav's too happy about their sacrifice. Hold on, let me do this real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's always so satisfying opening treasure chests, but I feel like rarely the chests that I open actually have something satisfying in them, if that makes sense. 900, I know, man, that's huge. That's what she said, boom, too easy. Oh. I feel like... 900 i feel like we should do something for for sama for 900 gifted subs that's kind of crazy that's kind of crazy you are returned my lord i collected your colleagues preliminary findings here mm -hmm. here's the report chest what you want you want a chest what, what do you mean chest my thanks I shall study them and inform you forthwith if I discover aught that might aid you in your fight against Ultima. Cyril, your survey party suffered several losses in Kratov. Losses which could have been avoided had the others not chosen to complete their work instead of saving their friends. Were these your order? No. This was their choice. Every undying devotes his life to the service of the Phoenix. It is our sole duty. And should we die in discharging it, so be it. Even when death is avoidable. My lord, I fear that this is not a point over which it would be fruitful to argue. Wow. The undying have served the Phoenix for countless generations. And your opinion of our methods, however earnest, is not like to change them. We live to serve the Phoenix. Our very order exists for that purpose, and that purpose alone. Cyril, I know that you and your brethren answer only to Joshua, but allow me to offer you a word of advice. It does not further the cause of the Phoenix to have his loyal followers surrender their lives without good reason. True. Provide your survey parties with an escort. Yo, thank you, they might peace. to do their duty for years to come. Think give me one of how you can give me one second brother serve the phoenix but how joshua would want you to serve him please for all our sakes i thank you for your advice if you will permit me to respond our faith in his grace joshua rossfield is absolute and we of the undying will do what we believe is right to fulfill our duty unto him as first shield to the phoenix i am sure you understand what it means to do one's duty i do then we are of the same mind 
I don't think they really came to a uh I don't feel like they came exactly to an agreement there, but you know, hey, it is what it is. The breath of ice, ice age. Hey, there we go. And that is another quest down. We're we're killing it, chat. Keith, I want to thank you again for uh becoming a member over on YouTube. You've joined the party. Um, that's sexy. You love to see it. He says, Sama's generosity is mind-blowing. Also, these fights are easy because you're really good at the game. I struggled on some fights that you've done easily. Keith, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Um, I'm glad that Sama's blowing <coughs> your mind. Um, you know, I, I don't want to say that I'm good at the game. Because, uh, you know, I, you know, I think the days of me being good at games, you know, that was, you know, my younger years. Uh, but I will say that this game has, uh, fluid combat. It's extremely fun. I enjoy it a lot. Uh, I do feel good when I really, like, go at the combat in this game. It feels very good. It feels very satisfying. I love the abilities. Um, I love playing with the abilities and the loadouts. In fact, after I end this stream today... Tonight, I'm going to mess around with Shiva's abilities and see if I want to bring any of Shiva's abilities into my loadouts. Um, I don't like to mess around with that on stream because I know it can be pretty boring and I feel like, you know, I'm probably boring a lot of people already, right, with side quests and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, one thing about this game that you will not see me criticizing much is its combat. I enjoy it very much. How are you finding the side quest so far? It's it's a mixed bag. It's it's a very mixed bag, um, and uh, I I can I can absolutely see how these side quests could could push some players off if if they were trying to one hundred percent it. I could see how some players would uh, would get so frustrated that they quit the whole game. The uh, but but I don't think that I don't think it's necessary to do that. I think if you start getting frustrated with side quests, just drop them. Just drop them and do the main quest, because the main quest... Like, I have very little criticism about the main quest. Main quest is great. I don't feel like the side quests are necessary. I, the, the, there, there's two groups of people with Final Fantasy 16. There's people that enjoy the game more, the more that they do side quests. And then there's people that enjoy the game more, the less they do side quests. All you have to do is figure out which one you are and then just go in that direction without thinking about what it would be like the other way, you know? Don't think about, I got to do all these side quests. I just want to do the main quest, but I got to do the side quest. Just if, if the side quests are making the game better, just do them and quit bitching. If you hate the side quest, if the side quests are really making the game drag for you, just stop doing them. It's not really like they're that rewarding. Just just stop. Just Just do the main quest. Um, I, I feel like there's a degree of control that players can have over the pacing of this game that if they would bother to exercise that control, they would have less complaints about the game. That's true. I'm doing the side quest because I'm streaming the game and I want to have a more thorough understanding of how people feel about the side quest. If I was playing this at home by myself in my bedroom, just laid back in my bed playing the game, I'd probably skip a lot of this shit to be honest with you. I'm doing it on purpose, so I'm not going to sit here at the end of the game. Like, when I'm done, I'm not going to sit here and take points off of this game because of the side quest. It's not something I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to tell you my unfiltered thoughts on the side quest, um, but I do think it's a mixed bag. Like, there's been some side quests that I just did not care about, and you could tell which ones I felt that way about. Um, but there's been some side quests that were really, really good, and I really felt like, especially like when Clive started coming out of his shell... I really felt like the side quest highlighted that. Um, and then getting to choose to do that side quest with Jill earlier was really satisfying. So, you know, when I say it's a mixed bag, I mean it's a mixed bag. But my advice to anybody playing this game would be if uh, if the side quests are starting to get on your nerves, take a break. Take a break. Do the do the hunts because they're, they're fun. Uh, good fights in the hunts or, or, do, or just do story and come back to it later. It's fine. 
Um, but yeah, some of them are really good. Some of them are really good. So don't, don't burn yourself out on side quests. You don't care about do the main quest, come back to them, whatever. It's not required. I haven't seen any part of the game where I felt like side quest hindered me from advancing. Um, so yeah, you know, it is what it is. You know, some people are gonna, some people are gonna really, really like them. Who was it that said they really liked them? Moogle. I, I personally really liked them. Yeah. You know, and I, th I think that's fair. You know, uh, I think Sama said she really liked the side quest. Some some quests unlock hunts. Yeah, so there are some good rewards tied to the side quest, but it's not like you have to do them to enjoy the game. Like, let's not lie to ourselves. You could just get right through them and still still enjoy the game. You might enjoy the game more if that's just the type of person you are. So just do that if you find yourself feeling that way. Don't force yourself through content you're not enjoying because it is going to, uh, you know, hinder your, uh, your, your, uh, your 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 feeling and your your enjoyment of the game let's see if they're selling anything over here that uh, i need or that i want to buy are you looking for something in particular hmm am i <laughs> go with gilbert yeah 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 all right uh no side quest over here GG's. The hunts are really fun. Yeah, I agree. Uh, ah, we have, uh, we have a quest over here. What do we have? Trading places too. Looks interesting. I heard uh, I heard somebody saying they um I heard somebody saying that they uh were uh they were asking about when the next vote is going to be. I think the next vote for the game after Final Fantasy 16 I think that vote's probably going to go up maybe the end of next week. I mean, how many how many streams do you think we have left? How many streams would you say we have left of this game? What's happened? All right, before we uh, start this next side quest, I need to go use the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back.
Yo, Painbo, thank you for the $5 super chat. You said reasons. Appreciate it. And uh, Juju Beans, thank you for the uh, follow on Twitch. I appreciate that. Sorry I, uh, uh, sorry I missed you, Juju Beans. If you're in the chat, say hello. I do have a new video on my YouTube channel on, um, I have a new video on Helldivers 2 and a new video uh, on Avowed that I have put out in the past three days. Those two videos have come out. If you're interested in either one of those videos, the Avowed video is linked in the pinned comment in both chats. Hey, Juju Beans, thank you for coming by. How did you find us? We just, uh, freedom. That's right. That's right. Helldivers 2 video is up on my YouTube channel as well as uh, an, a video about Avowed. Callista, that's right. I'm sorry. You you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm crazy. Yo, Sama, thank you for uh, gifting a tier one to Juju Beans, man. Thank you so much. Also, uh, Rayto91 just subscribed. Spider Rock gifted one. Thank you, Spider Rock. Y'all appreciate you guys. Thank you for the love. Thank you. Juju Beans. Yo, Callista. Callista Protocol. Chat seems. Chat seems to agree on five to six. Man, you got two cool ass names. I don't know which one I want to call you. Like, Painbow is just like a sick ass fucking name. But so is the fucking Callista name. Man said, the light of democracy, the light of democracy shines upon you, hell diver. We're going to go out there and spread. So I was spreading my share of managed democracy on July 4th. I'll let you know that, Painbow. I was out there fighting those automatons, securing planets, brother. If I feel like playing solo because I just don't want to be bothered with bad teammates, I play on a difficulty level four so I can get rare and regular materials. Still collecting those. I'm still upgrading my, uh, my ship and stuff. Uh, but then when I feel like playing with people, I'll go up to six where I can get the, the super rare samples and stuff. Uh, but it's just, man, you know, like you, he, it's a bit of a struggle when you get shitty teammates, man. Every time, like, like one bad teammate can really fuck it up for everybody on, on that difficulty. But I, I, I still love that game. I just fucking love that game. Super samples. Yeah. 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 I feel you, brother. Yeah. Hover in seven. Yeah. Yeah, since they since they put super samples in six, I've been playing six. Uh, but either way, like I go up to seven when I play with like one of the homies. Um, but yeah, thank you, thank you everybody, thank you for the uh, the super chats and the 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 gifted subs and y'all are close to another hype train. How many hype trains are y'all gonna do today? You know what? Let me let me show some love myself. Damn it! Here we go for uh for for some managed democracy. And for freedom, I'd like to uh, I'd like to gift out five five memberships to my YouTube fam. There it is, five for you guys. Thank you guys, love you guys. There you go. Bizarro G Man, Sheltis, Timothy, Marku, Gaming with Jay and Dan Bob, all real G's that I see in the chat all the time. Thank you guys so much. Five random gifted to my YouTube chat. I appreciate you guys. Nothing but love. I can't I can't choose who they go to. YouTube doesn't let you do that. Um, but there's five random from me to you. Appreciate you guys. Hey. Hey, Spider Ron, thank you for the 100 bits. Hold on, let me get up here. Turn my light. Sama, thank you for gifting one to Viral Shark. 902. She's on, she's on the road to 1,000. 100 bits from Spider Rock. Good vibes. Good vibes. Indeed. 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 Thank you, boys. Thank you for all the love. Just got in from work. Did I miss much? Nah, man. We've been doing... The, f the first 90 minutes of the stream was hype. We've been doing side quests since then, so you're good. Seriously... Happy to see your YouTube growing. It'll snowball for sure. Keep the grind up. I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. I'm working with a new editor. I'm really happy. 
with the new with the new editor that I have and the videos that we're making. I think it'll take some time for the algorithm to adjust to the new. Thank you guys. 100 bits from. Mm. Coral Whisperer. Th and there it is. Hype train. Thank you, boys. Um, and girls. Long live Queen Sama. True. 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 Step on me, mommy. Um, but yeah, yeah, we hit we just hit 8,000 subs this morning on YouTube. So thank you guys. You know, I know it's not that big of a number, but I'm proud of it. I worked really hard to get there. Uh, but I'm really happy with the new videos that we're making, man. And I do think that when the algorithm adjusts and the, the content starts getting out where it needs to go, I think it's gonna I think it is gonna snowball. I believe in that. And uh I, I really like the editor that I got editing for me, man. I think he's doing a great job. Yeah. Details don't matter. The fact that you're a good content creator matters. Of course, money helps, but do you belong in our feet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Content is king for sure, bro. Thank you. If we keep donating, will you stay live? I mean, I mean, how long are we talking? Like, I mean, what, what, what's the, what, what, what are we, what are we, what are we negotiating here? Spasmatico. Thank you so much. I mean, we're almost at four hours. It's about time to wrap it up. But I mean, you know, it's, it, is it Saturday night? I guess I could go and get myself a six pack and we could just, we could just keep going. If that's what you feel like, I mean, shit. If you want to spend your Saturday nights with me, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Can we get a full Helldiver outfit, Rex versus bots? Keese, thank you so much for the 639 super chat. He says more story. You're going to get more story. More side story. Yeah, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. It's Saturday, we down for whatever. Yeah, Painball, I mean, at some point, we could do a hell, we could do a hell diver stream. If you guys want to team up and uh, take on some bots, we could do that one night. I don't see why we couldn't do that. Ah, uh, yeah, boys. What's that TP in the back for, Rex? Oh, Sama, why are you like, it's fucking nosy ass. It's that cheap ass Walmart. This is like 48 cent for four rolls. Jill on the beach. No jinx. Mm, it's funky. All right. All right, we'll uh we'll consider we'll consider another story mission. Thank you, Keith. Thank you for the uh for the 639, dog. I appreciate you. I got beers in the fridge. I don't have any. I don't have any. I'll probably need to, I'll probably need to go get some. I'll probably have to go get a six pack, come back, tear into it. And we'll just uh, we'll just get drunk and play Final Fantasy 16 tonight. If that's what you guys want to do, threw the TP on his bed next to his pillow. Stop, bro! It landed in the hallway. I just look. I went to Walmart before I started the stream to pick up some things. You guys are filthy. Just put my gyro meat on the grill. What the fuck does that mean? Put my gyro meat on the grill. That sound nasty as hell. What the fuck are you talking? What? Y'all are fucking disgusting. Hold on. I got to put my fucking toilet paper out. Give me one second. No, I didn't pick up any lotion. Is nice. <laughs> uh, all right. All 
right. That's enough gifted subs, memberships, bits, and donations. Let's get back to... <laughs> Ain't no way! How, how did you coordinate that in two different chats? Spider Rot with a hundred bits and then Pain Bow with ten dollars super. How? All right. I thought we were gonna play the game. Can you door dash some beers? I don't know. I've never tried to do that before. I mean, I guess so. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I've never tried to do that. I don't have the door dash app. Getting some rage mode coming on. I'm not coming on. Okay. All right. But before, like, listen, listen, we're at, we're at three hours and, hey, Marcy, we're at three hours, 58 minutes and 30 seconds. Fourth of July weekend. Oh yeah. So we, we definitely got to break open some beers for fourth of July weekend. And maybe we'll have to play some hell divers. Huh? It's freedom week. All right. Is, is, if, is this, is it, look, if this is what you guys really want to do, I'll door dash a six pack or whatever. We'll get some beer. We'll crack open a couple of brews, a couple of brewskis. And, uh, and, and I'll, I'll extend our stream. We normally end at four hours, but I will, uh, I'll, like <laughs> a thousand from Cunny. Uh, <laughs> I think chat wants to do it. Here's the money for it. All right. For democracy. All right. Well, uh, well, fuck it. We'll just, we'll just keep going. I'll extend the stream. We'll keep playing some Final Fantasy. I'll door dash some beer. Um, let me, let me let my roommate know just in case they come and I, you know, so he can text me or whatever. Okay, let me set it up. Give me one second. Let me let my roommate know. I can't believe we're doing this shit. I guess it is Saturday night, huh? All right, I'll be right back.
sorry for the wait and thank you for the 100 bits since he's gone you cheer you cheered for for my absence that's insane Cunny, I've been lurking the last hour or so, but then had two diazepam and a blunt, so I'm good to go until I pass out. Beers have been opened. All right, I've I've already I've already placed my order. I've already placed my order, so I got Okay, we're trying to place an order, but everything is closed. So, uh it's we're working on it. Shout out to Justin. Um, okay. Uh, so, okay. Uh, I got myself a monster and then I just got some juice, you know, like this is some cold pressed, cold pressed juice beverage, grapefruit, aloe vera, and mint. Does that sound delicious chat? Or does that sound like cursed? Like, why did they add mint to this shit? Right? Anyway. Weren't we playing a fucking game at some point? YouTube view Bro, YouTube viewers got pissed. They le they left in droves. They'll be back. The 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 the, the, tw the Twitch chat already knows how I do. YouTube chat gets annoyed every time I stop playing the game and start being like a dumbass. But it'll be all right. They, they get mad and leave for 10 minutes and then they come back. They'll be all right. No, nah, Keith, they'll be back. We need to get hammered. I mean, I, I, no, no, we don't. We don't need to get hammered. But, you know, chat got excited and started donating and then started like throwing around ideas like. Okay, why do I even try to talk? This is chat, this isn't me. Gonna have to go get the gin and go spread some democracy. YouTube isn't the vibe for long streams, but Twitch is. I agree. That tends to be how it works. Like, like YouTube is just better for content that's like super focused. So every time the stream like goes off the rails, Twitch is like, woo! That's how Twitch is. And YouTube is like, So that's, that's the difference. Stop. Cheers. Cheers. I'm gonna try this uh, grapefruit aloe vera mint. wait and crack this open when um i'm gonna crack this open after uh, the beers get here yes yeah that's fine juju beans yeah thank you for the 100 bits my ears are burning why are my ears burning pain bow i don't know it's not it's not anything i did all right let me just put this in my little mini fridge and then uh, we will go on and get back to the side quests. All right. Thank you, chat. I remember 20 hour streams here back in the day, bro. I used to do, I used to do 20 hour streams like it was fucking nothing. Rex Sterling after dark streams, they're coming back just so you know. After we finish Final Fantasy 16, I'm going back to streaming at night. So this this time right here, like this time that we're streaming right now, this is gonna be our normal after Final Fantasy 16.
Anna, why would you even ask me that question? Don't nobody want to see Rex Sterling shirtless? No, no, no. I'm no, I'm 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 staying firmly in the boundaries of TOS. Sorry. Glasses are a pain in the ass. Listen, chat. Shut up. Chat, you, you leave the past in the past, okay? I've done a lot of things that I'm not proud of, okay? Let's just... Let's just leave it in the past, all right? I don't... Jesus Christ, I don't need any more pictures of my balls floating around on the fucking internet, guys. All right? Okay. All right, we got about 20 minutes. We got about 20 minutes before our order gets here. So let's see if we can knock out some more, um, knock out some more of this side quest stuff uh, before we uh, start getting down and dirty. Damn, y'all got me distracted as hell, man. No one made you decapitate Cherith? Listen, listen, listen. I don't know if you were watching the stream or not, but that's exactly what happened. He put a YouTube video game playthrough on while he slept. I used to have an air mattress right back here. I would sleep on the fucking air mattress. I can't do that anymore. My back and my neck hurt too much. But I would literally leave the stream on and just go to bed and then just put like Metal Gear Solid 3 on and let that play for like 12 hours until I got up, had breakfast, and went back to streaming again. That shit was crazy. That shit was ridiculous. He loves to do it for bits and super chats. So you know what, though? I, You know, I've changed. That's right. I've changed, chat. I, I've changed. I, it's, it's no longer about the biddies, the titties, the super chats, and the donations anymore. It's about subscribers and followers now. I want to grow. I want to grow, man. You know, I, I you know, I, I think like I think we should be at 10,000 on YouTube for sure. I think we should be at 5,000 on Twitch. So, I, I it's not about the money for me right now. I just want to make content good enough to get us a bigger community cuz I think we deserve it. I think we I think we deserve I think we deserve like 500 people in this motherfucking chat. I think I think we're good enough to have it. I think I just got to make I, th I think I just got to put more work into the videos. That's why I've been doing that. We'll see what happens. We'll see, we'll see where we are at the end of the year. All right. Theodore. He's got a quest for us. Trading places to collab with Mr. Beast. When? I mean, he's from the same area, North Carolina, that I'm from. So maybe one day. Ah, uh, Clive. You'll be pleased to know that the negotiations are progressing well. We basically, me and Mr. Beast, like basically, if if I if I'm if I'm correct, I think me and him grew up like an hour apart. Yes. Yes. Our comrade in Randala has just sent word that the contract should be signed very soon. But I still have much and more to prepare. It's a huge undertaking moving this many bearers at once. You couldn't do me a quick favor, could you? Ha! Huh. A quick favor. Let's see how quick it is. What is it this time? More wild beasts? Nothing like that. I just need you to go over to the caravans and ask El how long we have until the bearers arrive. Find out exactly how much faster I need to get all these supplies moved. All right. I'll go and ask. Thanks, Clive. I owe you one.
I don't know how huge streamers get the chance to read their chats because they move so down. They just, they don't, they don't. When you, when you have a really big chat, uh, What's happened? when you have a really big chat, you either have moderators that are picking out like chats for you to read, but I don't think most people have that. I think most people like you just keep making content. Like, first of all, first of all, if you have like a big chat, like a thousand people, it's because you're a content creator, not just a streamer. You're a content creator. So you just focus on make you just keep making your content because that's that's the only reason they're there watching is because they want to see the content being made. So you don't focus on reading chat. You focus on making the content while chat talks about it. And then you just you just look over at OBS and you pick out you just pick out chats that you might want to read here and there. You know, I'm sure there's like programs that you can download also and extensions that you can add to OBS and stuff to like make it easier when you have like a huge chat like that. But most people, you don't worry about reading chat. You just worry about making the content for chat to talk about. You know what I mean? Chat doesn't really get to talk to the streamer that much. Chat's just there to comment on the content that the streamer's making at that level. Does that make sense? Because you can't, it's a, it's not like, like here at this level, I can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with like all like 40 people that are watching right now. That's easy. When you got 400 people, you can't have one-on-one -on -one conversations with everybody so they they just talk about what you're doing you make sure you do something to, that entertains them enough for them to stick around and then you uh you know you just pick out you pick out chats here and there that stand out to you that's what i think people have to do that's what i've done when i've had large when i've had like really large streams but i know that uh yeah yeah some people yeah some people have mods and managers to point out hot topics well stand out messages yeah yeah some people do have teams that uh manage that kind of stuff Don't blame yourself, El. This is their fault, not yours. I know, but... No buts about it, all right? Okay, what are we about to do? Is something wrong? Ronnie came to give me a message from our intermediary. The talks with the Republican army have fallen through. Uh-oh. They've reached an agreement with the Silver Peak Consortium instead. Though prices have fallen of late, we deliberately offered above the going rate to try and deter other bidders. But the consortium offered double what we did, and the army jumped at the chance. And you had no opportunity to make a counteroffer? None at all. And we were so close. El, What's happened? I, I saw Vonny leaving. She didn't look happy. And with good reason. Yeah, tools to manage the community. Yeah, it becomes necessary when you get larger, for sure. Although you will have streamers that just but ignore it. I thought it. we were the only ones the Fist were speaking to about the bearers. How did the consortium even find out about this? It's not so surprising. They have ears all over the Republic. This isn't over. The consortium will have to sell these bearers eventually. And at the price they paid, buyers will be few and far between. I'm going to Randallar myself. Alone? Hmm. You sure that's wise? Are you offering to be my bodyguard? Mm. How kind. Meet me at the checkpoint near the capital gates. I'll send an owl ahead and request a meeting. You go to Cashlock, Theo, and get everything ready. We've waited far too long as it is. Even if I fail to free these bearers, there will be others. Someone needs to prepare the place and keep any prowling beasts at bay. Oh, and that's me, is it? <laughs> well... Looks like I'm following orders till she gets back from a, a lot of a lot of uh, mommy bosses in this game from meeting the Silver Peak Consortium who've been doing their best to undermine our scheme. Girl bosses. There we this, go. Surely. She means to stay with us then. I can't say I'm not happy to hear it, but is this what she really wants? You have to trust her. You're right. It's what she wants now. And if Elle's off fighting for the cause, I should do my part too. So I bid you farewell and safe travels, my friend. I'll gather my men and leave for Cashlock. We'll make sure the place is well stopped and defended. You yeah, go yeah. to Mandela and see if you can stop my sister biting the consortium's heads off. If she won't consider her prospects, someone has to. I'll do my best. That's the way Rex likes it, yeah. All right. 
thank you uh thank you again keese and painbow and uh juju beans and spider rock and typical callista cunny uh thank you all for making tonight so much fun final fantasy 16 has been a little bit divisive uh in the community since i've been playing through it you can notice we don't have as many people here as we normally do i'm still enjoying the playthrough and i think a lot of people are the, the vods are still doing pretty well um but but chat has really made it a lot more fun lately so thank you guys really appreciate that all right let's go down here you met the voice actor for barnabas dude he didn't they all did a great job so it feels weird pointing out one specific person but i do like barnabas's well, voice I actor i really hate i i really hate that benedicta died so early in the game i hate that so much ben i liked benedicta as as like an evil dominant woman type character i liked benedicta so much more than than annabella and or annabelle i can't remember which it was i would have gladly traded uh annabelle or annabella is it annabelle or annabella I would have traded her dying earlier and Benedicta living longer. I would have gladly made that trade, chat. Straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Benna. I hate she died so early. I really hate that. She was so. Um, she was interesting. She was compelling. Be safe. What up, retro lad? Hello, I have lost my voice because England got to the semifinals of the Euros. I'm so happy we won on penalties and I was filled with emotions. Wednesday semi semis. Let's go. Hey, yo, shout out the retro lad, man. Congratulations. Glad you got to enjoy the game, dude. I'm not a soccer fan or a football fan, but uh, I do keep up with it. I do keep up with it uh, from time to time. Like if I see it on TV, I'll watch it. You know what I mean? I used to love FIFA. The last one I liked was FIFA 10. It had this song by the Blackjacks on it. I think it was called um, Lakeside. If you've never heard Lakeside by the Blackjacks, it's an African band. Um, God, it's one of my favorite songs of all time. It's, and the it, first time I ever heard it was on the FIFA 10 soundtrack. And I like specifically the version that was in FIFA. It was a, it was a slightly different version than their original. I know nobody, nobody really cares, and I'm still saying all this, but whatever, whatever. Um, go check it out. Go check out the song. You won't regret it. You won't regret it. It's a dope ass song. All right, rendezvous with Eloise. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Did you arrange to speak with the consortium? Here they are now. <sighs> you wish to consult with me? I did. It's about the bearers you recently purchased from the Fist. We had all but finished making arrangements to buy them ourselves. And then you stepped into the fray. You misunderstand. The consortium had an interest in purchasing them from the very first. It was only our regard for you that kept us from bidding. But your hesitancy in accepting our offer to you suggested that the regard was not neutral. And so we resumed our business. I did not hesitate. I am simply not inclined to make such decisions without first giving them due consideration. But what is done is done. Come then. Alas, you are too late yet again. We rarely take on such unconventional merchandise without a purchaser in mind. The bearers belong to him now. Oh my God. Who is your buyer? A trader from across the water. A most demanding fellow, if it's any consolation. He insisted the bearers be fed, dressed, even given their own bunks for the voyage over. That's what you get when you deal with continental types. I wouldn't know. Oh yes, the culture on the continent is quite different to ours. Mm. They pay good money for bearers not fit for the knacker's yard and treat them like kings. But as long as they pay... That does sound 
Unusual. No matter, then. If they've already left our shores, there's little that can be done. Allow me to withdraw my interest. And with it, my interest in joining your organization. My associates will be sorry to hear that. Okay. Well, I mean, that didn't turn into like a bloody fight. Like nobody had to die. It was just an awkward ass conversation. That's not bad, right? All right. Handled like adults. You love I'm to see it. You weren't able to save them. As am I, but I only have myself to blame. He was right, you see. The Silver Peak Consortium did intend to buy those bearers before I did. Their representative hinted at a possible purchase when he came to recruit me. I feigned interest in joining them in the hope he might be encouraged to tell me more. And he did just that. As soon as he left, I sent my own offer to Randall R. So you never... No. I entertained the Consortium's proposal solely so I could learn more about those bearers. But I was a fool to think they wouldn't find out. I knew exactly who I was dealing with. You tried. I did. And if what he said was true... The bearers are to be well treated, mm. which is something, at least. But they deserved more. I wanted so badly to see them freed. Eloise! Eloise! Word from Cashlock. The village is under attack. A pack mm. of beasts have come down from the mountains, and there's a dragon at its head. Oh shit. Theo and the others are trying to hold them off as best they need Well, hey, a dragon. That... All right, business just picked ahead. up. Here we go. Thank you, Clive. I'm down to fight a fucking dragon. Let's go. There. Just... Make sure he's safe. Gotcha, baby. Sorry, I had to skip ahead, you know. You. you know how women are. She would have just kept talking and talking and talking while that dragon was murdering everyone in the village. Ugh, I had to cut her off. You understand. My chocobo. Hey, there you go. Ready, go. Okay, well, I guess we got to do this fight real rest. quick. actually kind of awesome voice actor for Sid was in HBO's Chernobyl I heard Chernobyl was pretty good you know me I don't I don't really watch TV or anything but I heard it was good Jesus yeah, chat, you weren't wrong. That is OP as hell. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I did it again. Why have I been... Why have I been taking wrong turns this whole fucking game? That's like the fourth time I've done that today. Okay. Let's go. Parkour. We can't go here, can we? Oh my God. I can walk from here. Did that just kill the, oh, as soon as we landed, the chocobo was like, I can't believe you had me fall that far. Fuck you, I'm out of here. All right, combat. Here we go. I hope nothing happens Where's to these. Up 
river. He led the dragon that way to keep it from the village. But the whole area is flooded with ether. He dipped him. Yeah, you dude. Just have to pray makes it out in one piece. I can do better than that. All right, Torgal. Let's do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Ain't nothing to it. Oh, my God, really? Okay. Ambrosia won't help me here. Okay. Yeah, Tor Torgal's a real one, bro. I'll tell you what. I'm going to keep it real with you. Anyone in this game can die. Anyone in this game can die. If anything happens to Torgal, bro, I'm I'm out, dude. I'm be on the floor curled up crying like a baby. They better not have any... Anybody can die in this game, but not Torgal. Lightning Rod... I'll have to give Lightning Rod a try. Somebody, I don't know if it's you or if it's been multiple. Mo I don't know if it's been you the whole time or if it's been multiple people, but there have been people telling me about Lightning Rod for a while. I felt like it was too situational to use, so I ignored it, but uh, it, I'm going to have to give that a try, huh? Get wrecked. All yours, Hell diver. Damn. I hate to kill a hell diver. See you on the other side, soldier. Okay, this is this is a lot. Thick. These creatures have already turned. Good God. Torgal's a beast, bro. I agree, Keys. It's still my game of the year. It's still, uh, yeah, yeah. Rebirth is still my game of the year by by a long shot. I can't waste any more time. I need to find Theodore before that dragon does. Looks like it's found me. Oh, shit. I'm sure it won't be that hard. <clears throat> Ladies. All right, I'm sorry. All right, here we go. This thing's turned as well. This isn't going to be easy.
Bro, oh god. I just cannot be stopped. Woo! Get fucking wrecked. Bro, has he even hit me yet? I don't think so. We did get hit. It's okay. I would have loved to have killed him like no hit, but sorry. Big damage. Big damage. Finish him. Finish him. Don't worry. At some point, I'm sure soon the game is going to give me a real challenge. Yeah, Svarag, yeah, he broke me in. He broke me in, for real. You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong, Sean. You own to something, Sean. Clive? Theodore, you had me worried for... Oh, no. We have to get you out of here. I think it might be a little too late for that. Bearer or no, there's only so much ether a man can take. And that Drake just wouldn't let me leave. You have my thanks, Sid, for finishing what I could not. For keeping... Els dream. Theodore. Oh man. <sighs> that sucks. Oh, that sucks so bad. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. 
No, don't do... That was fucking real. That was fucking real. Wow. Damn, that was that was so good. Thank you, Clive. I think I'll be all right now. That was true bravery, he showed. Leading the dragon away from the village like that. His first instinct was always to protect people. To put others' well-being before his own. And now he's gone. Because I sent him to that place against his will. It wasn't against his will. Yeah, Moogle, I agree. He was ready to do whatever it took to show you he could stand on his own. So that you would finally be free to live your own life. To live my own life? He never could come to terms with the choice I made. What exactly happened? You once told me Theo was the first bearer you ever helped. We grew up in Canva. We were born to one of the great trading houses. And I was chosen to inherit the family business. I had my father's head for figures, you see. Theo. <sighs> While I studied the art of commerce, he played at soldiers instead. A late bloomer. In more ways than one. For unlike most bearers, it wasn't until his 15th summer that his powers awakened. My parents tried to drive him out of the house and into the care of the constables. But before they could, I took him into mine. Theo told me something else. She clearly admired your devotion to the cause of freeing others like him from slavery. But he said you deserved a better life than this. He wanted to free you from what he called your bonds, just as you freed him from his. I would be lying if I said I had not wondered from time to time how much easier my life might have been if I had allowed Theo to be taken and devoted myself to the family business instead. Mm. But I have never regretted the decision I made. Yeah, this isn't one to skip. Being with my brother meant more to me than tradition or reputation. I only had to look at him to remind myself of that night and the choice I made and the fact that I would make the same choice again in a heartbeat. He was never a burden. How could he even think that? If anything, I was the one who weighed him down. You weren't Eloise. He said to himself that he had always been grateful to you for saving him, and that he wanted to repay you by letting you live the life you were denied. Neither you nor Theo weighed each other down. You loved one another. You did whatever was necessary to continue living your lives together. And you always would have. You're right. All I ever wanted. All I ever did. It was so we could be together. Oh, Theo. Why did you have to... <laughs> Damn. Damn, that actually... That, that actually hit... That hit pretty hard. Damn. I know Theo wanted me to move on. But I'm staying here at the Crimson Caravans to continue our work. We can make a difference here. We can help people. 
Save them. I need nothing more from life than that. So I'll carry on doing what we do. Ensuring that goods, people, bearers get where they need to be. Bringing smiles to people's faces, just like we always have. And to Theo's, wherever he is. This is the life I have chosen. The life I will always choose. To continue helping you however I can. Whenever you need it. Thank you, Clive. Let's go on together then. For Theodore. Damn, 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 damn. That was that was a quest. They wait till this far into the game to finally give me a cooldown for Scarlet Cyclone, unless this is a second one. Mm. That was very good. Holy shit, that was really good. You were right, boy. Best boy. Man, that was a really good fucking quest. Holy shit. That was so good. That one really make you think for a second. All right. Um, let me take a quick look. Um, actually, let me. Let's go. No, I think we might trigger a cutscene if we go to the hideaway right now. Let's not do that. Let's go do the other side quest before we go there, just in case it does trigger one. That was really good. Fuck, that was so good. Two thousand up. We can finally upgrade aerial blast. There we go. We got them both. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, chap. Over in Northreach, we have Under New Management. Let's do it. But there were ghosts at the gates, not days ago. You need... Fret. The creatures have been dealt with. Those things I said before. About not being able to fight. You didn't mean them. I know. That's not the man you are. The man I love. I just stumbled into that one. They, they tell stories with the NPCs. They just do it in a way where you're probably going to miss 90% of it, but it's like... They... So many were injured. Only by the grace of the goddess did so few succumb to their wounds. I'd say it was more the grace of the dame, but helps help, eh? All right. Talking to the dame. Yes. Isabel, what you got for me? Oh, Clive. What am I to do? My wards and I may soon be without a home. What's happened? The High Cardinal has descended from his lofty throne and taken up residence here in Northreach. The High Cardinal? Leader of the Council of Elders, second only to his radiance at the head of the Imperial Government. Not that any of those things still exist. Now he goes by his noble title, the Duke of Oriflam. And what does he want with Northridge? He wants to transform it into a military stronghold, a foundation upon which to build a new Sambrek. He's already secured the support of the various army remnants, with promises that they shall be afforded the respect they deserve in his empire. One built on the confiscated property of the people. He would rob the populace to pay for it. Believe me. I have used every means of persuasion to discourage him from this folly. But for whatever reason, he will not listen to me. What does Captain Philippe make of this? When the town was under attack, it was him the soldiers rallied around. How? 
by speaking out against one of the most powerful men in Sambrec. A man whose stated aim is to revive the Empire Philippe's comrades swore to serve, and to improve the soldier's lot within it. The captain can offer them a regular supply of gruel, and an occasional trip to the Vale to help them forget the terrors they face each day. The Duke offers them a vision of strength and safety. No. Any attempt to incite mutiny would cost Philippe the support of his men, if it did not cost him his life. But given the mood around town, mutiny may yet be unavoidable. The people have little appetite for further deprivation, least of all when it serves only to elevate others. And who could blame them? Clive, would you appeal to the Duke on my behalf for your services to Northreach? You have the respect of the soldiers, and they will take you to his eminence if you ask them. And unlike Philippe, no bonds of loyalty prevent you from speaking your mind to the man. Well, will you try? You could hardly fare any worse than I did. Man, they I'll just, see. they just talk you to death. What I can do. Thank you. Tell me that in the overseeing the troops. All right. Like it starts out interesting, and then like six paragraphs later, you're I like, met this dude before. And it doesn't help that like their the the their pacing, their cadence, and the way that they talk is so slow and so quiet. Also. I don't know who the fuck she's talking about because it's been so long since I was here doing side quests and I've been doing side quests in all these other territories that when I come back to an area and they're like, oh my God, Clive, Eric is at it again. You remember how you saved him last time when when his, when his he was on fire and his, his house and his sister? Yeah, well, his sister now. And I'm like, I don't remember who the fuck any of these people are. I don't remember. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about right now, ma'am. I have no fucking clue. And it doesn't help that I don't remember what the fuck you're talking about. And you're going on about it forever. Oh, my God. Whew. I'd be enjoying this game so much. And then I get to, like, some of this dialogue. And it just makes it just beats all of the fun out of it. Whew. Beats my patience to death. Holt. Oh, sorry about that. You're the dames man, aren't you? You got some business with the captain? No, actually. With the Duke. I was hoping I might be able to speak with him. We're under orders not to let any civilians pass. But you should be all right. His eminence has heard all about you and your heroics. Wait here. I'll go and ask. Okay. So... You are the sellsword who lent his aid to the garrison. The Empire owes you a debt. Hell yeah. And I shall see it repaid. But tell me, is it wealth that you seek or favor? Neither, Your Eminence. I thought only to inquire about your plan to turn Northreach into a stronghold. Ah, I see. You are worried the expanded garrison will render your services redundant. Yet you needn't be. A proud fighting man like yourself shall always have a place here. Pride of place, in fact. For too long has the contribution of the noble soldier been under-reckoned. But no more. For it is they who shall see the Holy Empire rebuilt, beginning right here in Northreach. Why here, Your Eminence? The town has been fortunate enough to escape largely unscathed from the recent troubles. Her defenses are sound and her garrison well prepared. Okay. Which is more than can be said for Oriflam or Twinside. The Empire wants for a capital and I believe Northreach to be the perfect place. With Care Norvant as her citadel. Once we have seen to the refortification of both the town and the castle, we need only build a wall around both to create a city that would be the envy of the twins. Plans are already underway for the construction. Soon enough, these thralls 
shall learn that they are no match for the might of Sandbrek. I fear you underestimate how dangerous these creatures are, Your Eminence. Should they return in force, you will need all the people of Northreach to come together in defense of the town. Something they may be loath to do if they've been deprived of their worldly goods. The people will do as their leaders command. If Sandbrek is to be rebuilt, she will require a functioning government. One whose authority is beyond question. That is why this levy is necessary. So that any man who wishes to join the army might do so and be fed, outfitted and paid as befits a defender of the Empire. <sighs> and yet there are those who persist in peddling the treasonous lie that I seek to steal from the people and drive them from their homes. I suspect they're afraid of losing what little they have left. Precisely. The common folk have little and less, and you mean to... Do I like that her, her name on the subtitles is just Unyielding Spirit. <laughs> drive them of even that. You would sow the seeds of your new empire. Like, that's pretty on the nose, isn't it? In your own salted earth. Sabine, we have discussed this. Yes, and I told you then how putting the empire before her citizens would lead only to revolt. Without an empire, there are no citizens. And in yours, there will be only beggars. Is that what Griga wills for her people? Do not take her name in vain, Sabine. I'll come back later. <laughs> Me too, Clive. Me too, brother. A citizen's revolt. I wonder what the people really think of the Duke's plan. It wouldn't hurt to ask them, I suppose. Let's begin oh. with those on the other side of the wall. Oh, 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 God. We're doing this? Okay. All right, let's go ask the citizens what they think. I've been hearing a lot of talk about a certain duke. Nothing good, I'll wager. Hmm. Going around acting like he owns the place. Ugh. And with hardly a word to the dame. This is her town, not his. I take it you'd rather she was in charge. As far as I'm concerned, she still is. Just need his eminence to sod off back to Oriflam. All right. Oriflam. I got peppers to numb your tongue. <laughs> Rex went from near crying 15 minutes ago to groaning, oh god. Those are the quests in a nutshell, yeah, for real. All right there. What is it you're after, sir? You're right. Just your opinion, actually. I wondered what you thought of the Duke of Oriflam. <laughs> oh, him. How heavy is the rain outside? I don't know how heavy it is now, but I know it's been like it was it's been heavy all day. Been he well, not all day, but since I started the stream, it was crazy. It's not raining anymore. It's not raining anymore. Storm's already over. Not much. None of us traders do. It's thanks to nobles like him that we had to set up shop this side of the wall in the first place. Couldn't have the rabble getting any closer to the holy capital, could they? And now he's trying to drive us out completely, threatening to take everything we got from us if we don't clear off. If the dame said she wanted him run out of town, I'll be straight through that checkpoint tar bucket in hand. Here we go. Sounds like a pre yeah, yeah. Got an we got to see what the what the what the people down on the ground are feeling. A question, if you don't mind. What do you think of the Duke of Oriflam? Mm, don't get me started. You build a life for yourself somewhere, only for some noble to turn up and tell you you've got to hand it all over to him. If he thinks his name and his chains give him the right to empty our purses, he's in for a rude awakening. We'll do whatever it takes to keep what's ours. Whatever it takes. 
Well, the okay. people seem united enough. What about the soldiers? Oh. Okay. Okay, creative business unit three. Is this is this what so the quest structure the is like in Final Fantasy fourteen? I expect. Things I said before. Oh yeah, we've we've been over this. I assume that the soldiers will be loyal to the dame too. Excuse me, do you have a moment? I wondered if you'd mind sharing your thoughts on the Duke of Oriflam. Well, <laughs> he's made a lot of enemies coming in the way he did. But, I mean, look around us. You can see the state the realm's in. The traders might not like having the screws put on them, but if they volunteered a few more of their hard-earned gill before things got bad. Maybe they wouldn't have to. I think the mm. Duke's got a point when he says rebuilding the Empire is the best way of making sure we're all protected. And if that means people who don't know one end of a saw from another have to make way for those who do, well, that's just how it goes. Okay. Be strong, Rex. Be strong. Be strong. As long as you remain, the veil will stay I left your knees. everything. You. You're the one who was talking to his eminence. On the dame's behalf, yes. I was trying to persuade him not to take the people's goodwill for granted, but what do you think of his plans? I'm a soldier, mate. He tells me what to do, not the other way around. Listen, I've got nothing but respect for the dame. Could do with those beers fast. Yeah, I got a notification that... They're just running a little bit behind, but they're on the way. But I've got a family to look after. That's where my loyalties lie, not with the town or the Empire. If the Duke can get us some men and the equipment we need to fight off those blue-skinned bastards, I don't care how he does it. I'm, try I'm trying, Spider. Maybe after we talk to this guy up here, it'll all be over, boys. Sabine, you are embarrassing me. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. I hear the Duke of Oriflam plans to turn this town into some sort of fortress. Do you think that's a good idea? It's not for me to say. All I know is that unless the Emperor orders me otherwise, his eminence's word is law. Look, no one likes all these taxes and tariffs, but empires don't come for free. Once Sandbrack is back on her feet, we'll all reap the benefits. Mm. Yeah, sure you will, that's buddy. What Philippe makes of all this. All right, Philippe, uh, okay. Oh my God, I can't believe we have to go talk to someone. Oh, okay, be strong. Be fucking strong, man. Oh, there he is, okay. Here we go. Captain. Do you have a moment? Yeah, dead channel. I feel you. I could, I, I could, I could see that happening. Certainly, Clive, wasn't it? Thank you for last time. How can I help you? I wanted to ask you about the Duke of Oriflam. Do you intend to go along with his plan? But to tell you the truth, I'm in two minds. It's my sworn duty as a captain of the Imperial Army to obey his orders. But I can't say I agree with him. Philippe. I remember you saying that you became a soldier to protect the people you loved. The dame included. Mm -hmm. That's right. I did. Well, she doesn't agree with the Duke's orders either. She thinks they could tear Northreach apart. And she's probably right. Thank you, Clive. I know what I need to do now. Protecting the people I love is what matters. Doesn't matter how. And then Philippe goes and kills the dame. How crazy would that be? Well, thanks again. There's a rumor that Yoshi P and Sakaguchi, uh, the father of Final Fantasy, might collaborate a little on Final Fantasy 17. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, you know, uh, if Yoshi P is only allowed to touch, um, 
like big story set piece moments and combat, I'm fine with it. Seems Philippe wants to do the right thing at least. I expect Isabel will be pleased to hear that, if nothing else. All right. Oh yeah, we'll fast travel to her. Ah, Clive. How did you fare? Were you able to speak with the Duke? I was, but... Yeah, I mean, it is just a rumor, right? I, I don't think... I haven't heard anything about Yoshi P working on 17 at all, but we'll see. So Northreach is to be a fortress after all. Well, it will certainly help to hold back the thralls. There's no denying that. I love all the fucking whispering. Though I doubt it will come as much consolation to the townspeople whose worldly goods are confiscated to pay for it. They deserve to be heard, Clive. To have a say in this new empire the Duke means to build. Sadly, his eminence values their obedience more than their opinions. And hopes to reassert the authority of the state. I fear he sees the people as mere pawns on his chessboard to be sacrificed for the greater good. Needless to say, they themselves are of a different opinion. And would rather their destinies were in your hands. The soldiers, meanwhile, are content to follow their orders. And not just because of the Duke's rank, but because of his vision. I thought as much. Had I sworn to protect Sambrek? I dare say I too would want nothing more than to see it rise from the ashes. Thank you for trying. But the battle is lost. I don't know about that. What happened to your uniform? I handed it in, along with my resignation. Told the lads I wished them well, but that I owe it to those I love to call it a day. But why? Because I realized what really matters to me. Not following some nobleman's orders for the sake of it. But protecting what I care about, protecting Northreach. I honestly don't, but I'm certain they're not finished with us yet. And when they do come back, we need to be ready for them. We need to stand together, all of us. And with you to lead us, my lady, I reckon we can do it. It was you who finally convinced me, Clive. There's no point following orders if they go against everything you believe. Indeed. All of us. Standing together. That has always been Northreach's best hope. All right, my beer is here, and this and conversation is clearly not going to end us. anytime this year, so I'll be right back. Only to turn our attentions to the true enemy. Thank you, Philippe, for showing me what I must do. Anything for you, milady. Speaking of uh, standing together, would you mind if I borrowed a few of the lads from the Vale to help keep watch around the town? I fear his eminence has loftier tasks in mind for the guard. Not at all. Be my guest. Wouldn't be the first time. There may be hope for Northreach yet. Especially with men like you and Philippe to champion our cause. I, for my part, shall continue to work upon the Duke in the stubborn belief that I might still tempt him into joining hands. But I suspect I shall have to call upon your aid again. Until then, Clive. Until then. <laughs>